Hey guys, it's Fia back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 9th of May 2022. It's a Monday, so we did Mount Farm Monday. It was great fun. I started off stream with uh, some mail that I received from my throne wish list. So, so grateful uh, for the beautiful gifts. And, uh, and jumped in and farmed some mounts. It was good fun. I had a great day. We ran over time. I hope you enjoy the extra content. If you'd like to catch us live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you add a forward slash schedule onto the end of that, you'll be able to see when I'm going live converted magically to your time zone. Also, what we're going to be streaming that day. Super helpful. And if you'd like to catch me semi offline, but still actually online, you can do that at my social media profiles on Discord. I'm focusing on growing my Instagram following at the moment. All of those links are down in the description box below, along with, you know, like affiliate programs and fun stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's me for tonight. I need to sleep. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the bud. I will see you live in chat next time. Won't I? Yes. Have fun. Hello. Welcome back. It's Monday again. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I love that one. It's so good. Let us begin the battle. Uh, well done, Zam, on first. X with second. X also with Lurk. Enjoy your Lurk. Enjoy your Lurk also, Panda. Uh, well done, K with second. No, it was on cooldown. K with third. Good. Brilliant. <laughs> Hello, Rel. Well done on last. Good afternoon to you too, K. Hello, Panda. Hello, Rel. Hello, Tony. Of course, the second I step outside to collect the eggs, stream goes live. It's almost like I'm watching you or something. To be clear, I'm not. Please do not feel uncomfortable. I am not. I do not have the capability to watch any of you. You can watch me. I cannot watch you. Good. Uh, did we get to the challenge goal yesterday? We did indeed. We did indeed. So we will have a toy hunting stream next month, which will be wonderful and awesome. Uh, thank you, stream closed captioner bot. I do believe my captions are on. Yes, they are on. Good. Um, hello, Chaos. Doing very well. How are you? Welcome back. Awesome indeed. Uh, we do not have a fourth command. Fun fact. Hello, Apathy. Well done on 6 to 9th. Hello, Shiba. Oh, can I also say migraine suck? You may. You may absolutely say that migraine suck. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better soon. Creepy, I know, right? So totally, definitely, absolutely not a thing. Ah, uh, could not come back. I'm just letting his family do what they need to do. Could not come back. Fair enough. Totally fair. Hello, Lucky. Good morning, Grumpy. You got me off work, but at what? At what cost? Yep, yeah, that's that's basically it, isn't it? I've got packages. I've got packages. Um, to kick off. Um, where's my? I'm opening up Throne because do you think I can remember who these are from? No, of course not, because my brain is bad. Um, orders. Good. Okay, there's the list of things. What have I got? Um, uh, does this have a pull tab thing? No. Let's try. Oh, it's okay. The sticky just comes undone anyway. Aha! It's hair dye. Vampire red hair dye. This is, of course, the hair dye that I use at least once a month. Uh, and that's from Soulbringer FPS. Thank you very, very much. Oh, hang on. There's paperwork in here. Let me just check if that's not important. And it does identify me. Good. Let's do that off camera then. Is that just an invoice? Yes, it is. Phenomenal. Oh, what is that? Ah! I got candy! I love when, I, I love when companies do that. Good God, it's the best thing ever. And this is vampire blood gum. It's tongue painting, apparently. So guess what we're doing? Damn straight. Surprise candy. Surprise candy's the best candy, usually. That's awesome. Thank you, Lucky. It's my Wailera Dream Wave. Use code Fiamma to get $20 off. <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much. Is this actually gum or is this a, oh. There's like a, I think it's filled. I think it's, it is gum. It's kind of squishy. And I think it's got like 
juice in the middle that is supposed to look like that here. Hmm, show me the candy first, then I'll get in the vein. <laughs> Do not go into vans. This is a bad idea, my gut, my jaw hurts. Um, remember where I was having the issue with my jaw after surgery? Yeah, it's never, it never went away. So this hurts. Um, I'm tasty though. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna eventually paint my tongue, but Soulbringer, thank you so much for the hair dye. Much appreciated. Um, that looked like, honest to goodness, so useful and so super amazing. Much, 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 much appreciated. Hmm. Hello, nurse. Welcome on in. I think this is like non-specific berry flavor. It tastes like red, you know? Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I know what this one is because it's a stick and not many things come in sticks. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get this oat let me. Hey, I don't wanna break my nails. I don't think there's any free candy in this one because it'd probably ruin poster yeah cool let me just make sure there's no like invoice that's gonna fall out of here that has my name on it yep found you knew it cool awesome let's make sure there's not another one wonderful so is that not Absolutely gorgeous. The best bit is, it's glow in the dark. It's glow in the dark. So the little shooting stars up here and the constellations and not all the stars, but quite a few of the stars are glowy. The moon is glowy. The tent is glowy. And there are, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see, but there's like, a slight difference in color. There's eyes here, and there's eyes here, and there's eyes here, and the little the little squirrel has an eye that glows, and there are eyes over here. So like there's little like things in there, and there's fishies. The fishies glow as well that are in the water. Um. So yeah, it's freaking beautiful, and I'm I need to find a place to put it because it's gorgeous and lovely and amazing, and I love it so much. So thank you very 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 much to chaos. The beautiful poster it's gorgeous and amazing and i love it so much so thank you so much very much appreciate it and now i need to put it somewhere very carefully so i don't destroy it before i put it up because you know what i'm like oh knowing my luck super pretty now we'll never know that her real name is amma if yeah good thing you'll never know that right shiba good thing that one of my boss mods didn't expose it on stream. <laughs> Whee! That's gonna go over there in the tube so I can't break it. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm I'm so happy. I'll find somewhere beautiful to put it. Not it probably not in here because I'll stare at it all night and get even less sleep because it's just so pretty. It is so beautiful, Chaos. Thank you so much. I Thank you for the gift. I really appreciate it. And thank you, of course, to Soul as well for the for the gifted head eye. And thank you to everyone who has sent me gifts and stuff and who has suggested gifts to add to the wish list. It's just, it makes my heart so happy that you guys care and that you want me to have nice things. And it just, it's really honestly just amazing and beautiful and lovely. Um, I had, um, over the last couple of days, I've had a couple of people reach out to me via Twitter because they've seen me talking about Throne and have asked if I had an invite code that I could give them. So I've given out a couple of invite codes. If you guys have other streamer friends and, and other streamers that you watch and stuff like that who don't have a wish list or, or something like that, um, like let them know that I have invite codes and I'm happy to share. I, I want to, you know, share the love as much as I can and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, for sure, uh, send people my way be it on Twitter or Instagram or in Discord or on uh, Twitch DMs or whatever, 
send them my way because I do have uh, a, a small handful of codes that I can give out. Um, so, yeah. And I mean, hey, if I run out, I could always build like a a, uh, a waiting list of, of waiting list escape codes. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm, oh, amazing. Um, for your stub self open while well, attempting to open package. Yeah, look, this is, um, it's like a nail, it's really old. That's why it's got bits chipping out of it and stuff, but it's a nail tool. So it's designed to like, you can use it to scrape stuff from out from under your fingernails and stuff, but you also push back cuticles with it. I know that using metal cuticle sticks, like everyone gets really angry about it. Like, don't do that, blah, 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 blah. Um, use a wooden one, etc., etc. But um, for me personally, I've like I've tried using wooden ones, and apparently my cuticles are just. I have like Wolverine cuticles because they don't go anywhere unless I use metal and cuticle remover cream stuff to like loosen the the bonds of the flesh so I can scrape it properly. Like it's horrendous. Um, even when I go to even when in the past I've had manicures and stuff the. The manicurist has always commented on how stubborn my cuticles are. So yeah, look, do, go gentle first. If gentle doesn't work, slowly step your way up. But you don't don't like go hacking at your cuticles with a metal thing. It will hurt, and and hurt for a long time because your hands get infected so easily. Uh, so yes. Oops, I press spacebar. Um, and my tongue looking. Ah, uh, it's relatively pink. Look, the gum's not bad. Um, shiny, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It is very awesome, Mick. Very awesome. <laughs> Giggle. You sound like Dundee. Uh, I'm assuming you mean Crocodile Dundee. It's probably because I have an Australian accent, because I am shock horror Australian. Hello, Death. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. Blaming Sheba. Yep, we're gonna blame Sheba for outing my actual, definitely real name. Yep, good. Brilliant. Okay. So, Mount Makeup look for the day. Um, this one's, um, I feel like this one might be a bit tricky. I'm not sure if it's coming across right on camera either. Like, I'm a little bit, little, little, little bit concerned about that. So, um,. The color in my crease is purple, like up and around here. It's purple. Um, in the in the middle here, like right up against the inner corner, that's like a, a champagne, creamy kind of shade. Mm -hmm. The outside corner is the one I'm a bit concerned about. Although now that I'm looking at it, it's actually reflecting properly. So it's a brown shadow, but it reflects. Like a greeny blue sort of like do you see the shine on it is kind of greeny blue when the light catches it it's really pretty let me this is the palette um yep yeah. so it's this shade here so it kind of as it catches the light it shines like a blue green sort of shade but when the light's not hitting you see how kind of it's brown and then it's like the green and brown, the green. Yeah, so it's it's a it's a very pretty, very fancy shade. Um, but that's what I've got on the outer corner uh, because because one of the jeez, I'm gonna do some man calls today. Um, one of the colors on the mount, it's kind of like a gray brown sort of shade. But then around the edges where it looks like it should be shiny, it's almost like a greeny blue. So I'm like, oh, I can use that shade. So yeah, that's what I've done. Stop. Happy now? Good. My friend's dying. He got angry with me. We're fine. Everything is fine. Um. Those are pretty. Thank you, Chaos. I'm really happy with it today. Like. The purple's really fun. I like it a lot. I'm sure she will get it eventually. <laughs> Someone will. Or you won't. There have been two streams so far that I've had to tell you guys what the mount was at the end. Only two out of the nearly 300 we've done. So it's pretty good. Uh, what's the mount fine plan today? Good question. So, um, basically, I have my list. 
The Covenant Assault at the moment is Venthyr, and I already have that mount, so we're not doing the Covenant Assault, so we skip that bit. There is also no... Um, there's also no oozing Necrore Egg, no, no uh, Maldraxxus Necrolord caches for emissaries up today, so I've had to take all those off as well. So I'm going to start with Archivist Codex and wait for the Tormentors to pop. When are the Tormentors popping? I think that'll probably be in about half an hour. Um, if you find anything exotic, bring it to me. Yep, 5pm should be Sentinel Shakozeth. Uh, so... That's what we'll start with. Jas will be getting home somewhere around, somewhere between, usually gets home somewhere around like 5.30 to 6ish. Uh, and once he gets home, we're gonna jump in and do some Mythic Plus keys. Uh, because that is working towards the Mythic Plus Seasonal Mount. Uh, which is an out, funnily enough. Uh, but then once he kicks off and goes to raid, um, then I'll move back to the uh, regularly scheduled programming. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start with the Archivist stuff. Because that should... That Archivists and Tormentors should take me through roughly until uh, when he gets home, I reckon. But we'll see. Do you own it? Does it fly? I do own it. Uh, it does not fly. It's a ground mount. <clears throat> ah yes, refer previous answer, Nick. As uh, Sheeb's asked as well. Look at all these contributions. You guys really like seeing me bash my face against Shah, don't you? This is no longer fun. But actually, like, <laughs> there's a bit of pink, but not much. Um, huh? Any moth you have? Oh, it's picked. Huh? I'm confused. What? Uh, <laughs> just like seeing you do stuff. Fair. I will take that. I will take that. Um, alright, so I need to keep an eye on the time because half an hour and the tormentors will be spawning. Um, how is Archivist Rock going? Uh, 27%. Look, it's not I, ideal. We so. have a solemn responsibility. Do I have any? Restore no. The archive. Fulfill the purpose. I don't have any. What suits do I? I do have in my back. Ah, there, they're hiding. Okay, that's fine. Um. Ah, I gotcha. It's not used. No man, I'm tired. Okay. It's me who is tired. I mean, more than one person can be tired at a time. <laughs> uh, all right. Moth. Okay, mammoths are not moths. Although that would be really hilarious. Um. So, it's going to either be the Amber or the Dusk Flutter. I'm going to go with Dusk Flutter today because it's a little more purple, which is kind of like the makeup I'm wearing today. Okay. So I need to change this to Archivist. I can't do that anymore. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right, so I'm going to go and do Lost Research. Um, Is it the purple skeletal warhorse? It is not. It didn't work. Ah, uh, right, yep. Yeah. So yeah, you've got to actually go into the redemption and then type it into that text box rather than the other text box. Yeah. Um, so I hope you are well. I am doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. I hope you can say the same. Hello, hey today. I am pooped. Yeah, look, I'm uh, not the most energetic of folk today. 
but that's okay. Um, I'm doing okay. My, uh, I am a day behind on rendering again because I fell asleep too early a couple of nights ago and didn't do that. And then the one that I rendered last night failed this morning. Um, so I have to start that again, but I can't start it again this morning because it'd still be rendering when I go live and that would result in a crap stream. So, <laughs> so I'm now two days behind on rendering, which is fantastic, but it's, you know, it is what it is. Um, but luckily I was a couple of days ahead with the uploading, so you m might not actually notice. You may actually get a video every day continuously anyway, um, because I was ahead. So, but we'll see. No promises. <laughs> no promises. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm doing I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Uh, the contract I was tantalizingly teasing yesterday uh, hasn't come through today, unfortunately. There was a couple of uh, little bits and bobs that happened, which meant I don't have it, which means I can't tell you about it. Um, which is a little bit frustrating because obviously, you know, with with exciting things, I like to give as much lead up as possible because that way, you know, we get to build the hype and stuff, but that's okay. It's fine. Um, I will do the absolute best that I can. And I know that you guys hopefully will, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll be happy with what's happening. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Uh, I know some of you will absolutely love it, uh, but I mean the rest of you, I hope that you'll at least like it. <laughs> and hopefully uh, I'll have enough support from you guys, regardless of the shorter notice, to, uh, to have it be successful and therefore potentially secure further opportunities down the track. You know how this works by now. I'm open about all that stuff, you know how it works. But yeah, it's uh, I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. It'll be good. Um, is it the Dreamlight Rune Stag? It is not. Is it faction specific? It is entirely too early for me to give, be giving additional clues. There has only been two guesses at the point of you asking that question. No, I'm not giving you an answer. Um. I think... Where's the... Uh, dungeons. When did, did they redo stockades or... Yeah, Hogger's in the stockades. I can't remember if they redid it or not though. Um, but it means you can solo it. It means you can solo him now as long as you're, you know, of decent level. Uh, alright. Um, don't worry. Not this is for the millionth time. Enjoy, enjoy. Vague fear is vague. Vague fear has to be vague. You know that. You know I am chomping at the bit to tell you. And I absolutely would if I could. Because it means that you get to get hype with me, you know? Like, that's, that's a huge thing. But we'll see. We'll see how we go. Fingers crossed I'll get the contract tomorrow and I'll be able to spill beans. Enjoy being the streams up for the games. Oh, that's so sweet of you. So sweet of you. Oh, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Lurid blood tusk. No. Opportunities. Hype. Absolutely, Zam. Absolutely. So narrowing down the possibilities. <laughs> It'll be Whitlands in 2005. Oh dear. Oh dear. They do tend to make that noise a lot, don't they? Okay. Ah, uh, yep. It's. Uh. I mean, it's it's good for it's good for hype building to be able to hold it back for a little bit and like tease it and stuff like that. But it does get to a point where it's like, okay, too much teasing. You need to tell us now. But um, I will when I can. Absolutely. Uh, I want to play Dragonflight so bad. You will be able to soon, Proz. You will be able to soon, TM. Um, I'd probably be looking at pr uh, around a year. Um, just short of a year, I think, for the um, release date. Uh, but of course, that is purely a guess. I don't have any inside information or anything like that. Just looking at timelines of previous expansions. 
uh, from, you know, announcement to alpha to beta to launch, uh, is, or to PTR to launch, I should say. Um, it looks like we got a, a, just short of a year to go. Um, but that's all right. More time to make sure things get done right. Uh, Rindez Death Charger, no. Swift Purple Raptor, no. Uh, the beta opted in at the moment. That's your best bet to get in early. Absolutely, yeah, definitely make sure you've opted in for the beta. Jump on in there and, and help test it, help make it be the best game it can be. I'm not going to make it over that, am I? Nope, that's right. Um, Some bushes you can run through, some you cannot, and it frustrates me just a touch <laughs> when you can't tell which are which. That's fine. So neither of those yellow chests are the right one. So there's one up top and then one over to the side. Let's see if we can find... Is it invincible? It is not invincible. Mind if I ask what is the min eye level for Mythic Plus just came back after quitting 9.1. Um, if someone might be able to say in text really ads, because I'm not sure if they would have been hit by the ad that just came on, uh, but there is no minimum item level. It, it's not restricted because there's no like queue for it. You have to actually find or form up a group manually. So it's whatever the group lead is asking for, uh, basically. Uh, but there's a, if, if someone can have a look up and figure out what drops in a plus two and let them know that as well. So you're going to want to be at least close to what drops in a plus two, probably like five item levels lower than what drops in a plus two to, to queue for a plus two. Uh, and then obviously as it goes up, you're going to require a higher and higher item level to, to be accepted into those LFG uh, type group things. And if Iliad has in fact heard all of this, then fantastic. No one has to type shit. <laughs> Convenient for all. Uh, how the f what do I get a wrong way on? Like this. Yeah, no strict minimum eye level requirement for a Mythic Plus, but it does, um, you do have to actually be accepted into a group, so individuals will determine what they want and whether they're happy to take you. Where is this chest? I know there are four unique bloody... Stores. Very rude. No, no, no. Do not cast that there. For sake. This is going to cost me, like, half my bloody key to try to find... Rift key, that is. To try to find the entry point for this. Um... Must be in here, right? It has to be. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. Um, he just needs a hug. He's not really a bad guy. <laughs> He's probably just frightened. Honestly, we keep coming into his home with scary, sharp sticks and pointy things. 
and fiery hands to try to kill him. Look, he's probably just terrified. Thanks. Oh, it's an I, not an L. Fiamma. You're welcome. Uh, so the answer, it does indeed. It does indeed. Got a plus 17 for a crit in season one. Fair enough. Fair enough. Then yeah, still works the same way. Um, just gotta have what you consider to be a decent item level and then a hope to god that somebody actually accepts you into their group. Uh, <laughs> uh, 262 is ended dungeon loot for 15s with 278 from Vault also. Hi, hello Jack. Hello. Uh, I doubt, like, I'm not sure that you'll get accepted into a 15 with zero Mythic Plus score for a season. Um, I mean, you might, depending on how bonkers your eye level is, but uh, people aren't going to go to the extra effort to look you up and look at your past season performance and stuff like that. People are lazy. Uh, they always have been and they probably always will be, so they'll see that you don't have an IO score and probs reject you. Uh, but your best bet's gonna be, if you want to jump straight into high-level stuff, is to have redonkulous gear um, via, you know, raids or upgrading stuff from Xerath Mortis, or uh, jumping in with a group of friends who can not carry you, but, like, carry your your IO, like, your, your ranking uh, up higher so that people will be more comfortable accepting you, because, again, people... Uh, hopefully people come back next expansion. I don't wow to die. People have been saying that wow is dying since Burning Crusade. It was 15 years ago. Wow is not dying. People are overreacting. <laughs> um, exactly, Borga. Uh, or just be a warlock. Yeah, that also will help. <laughs> that also will help. Um, okay. Nah, I could do this one. Ah, uh, really, a lock's that good. Uh, yeah, for AOE, which is needed usually in um, Mythic Plus. For, like the trash and everything, especially on Fortified Week. Yeah. I think it's. Is it Destro Locks? Jas was telling me the other day. They're just. They're literally batshit. Um, yes, it is Destro. There you go. Hello, Zalk. Hello. I legit forgot what Lock was a class name. I was like, that's one way to get it, I guess. Sell your diesel to a DD &D entity. Interesting. One in coffee equals mana. Brilliant. You get a lot of flavor of the month players that are terrible. Yes, correct. People who just jump and jump and jump and jump from character to character to character, depending on whatever's good that month. Um, which, you know. Anyway. Uh, Cerulean Ruin Strider. No. Destruction Warlock is crazy good Mythic Plus due to their foreset. Yeah. Uh, Merok, Deathlock, Loza, Neke, and Meaty. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Good job. Oh, loyalty, super boss chest. All of the stuff. All of the scrolls incoming. Place a Templar. Um, where are my quests? I need to turn these in. This one. Oh, I need to place warriors. Okay, that's good. I think. Excuse me. Awesome. Um. Accent is OP. <laughs> you got a scan. Well done, Zam. Well done. Was there already a mount drop today? Nope, not yet. Not yet. You've not missed out on anything. Uh, I did get two packages, though. Uh, so I opened them up before we started. One from Soulbringer FPS and one from Lady Chaos. And I appreciate them both so very much. 
Uh, so we unboxed those and uh, then got on to doing this stuff. The uh, Covenant Assault, this at the moment, is uh, Venthyr, and I've already got that mount, so I skipped that. Uh, and then the next thing on the list is uh, Archivist Rep at tier 6, because I'm... Look, <laughs> moving forward, I need to focus more on current content, so I don't have to keep going back to do it when it's, you know, but that's fine. It's much more difficult to do now that there aren't raid groups of people farming the rep, but that's okay. I, you know, it's how I roll. Everything's bullshit hard and it's fine. That's not it. Could be across the way. That's the spectral bound one. Yeah, it's across the way. God damn it. Okay, that's fine. Uh. Oh. Oh, Pebble! I'll take it. Six hundred and sixty at the moment, correct, with two hundred and seventeen to go. Um, all right, so it's four fifty two. Um I feel like I think I need to go back to base and head towards the tormentors. But I also feel like maybe I'm doing that too soon. Ugh. I don't know how to feel. Oh, mushroom. I should grab that. Oh, and croaks up. Ah, oh, the mushroom went away. Oh no, wait, crap, what? Group being smacked? Not yet. Here's the mush. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. And a moss one cage too. Alright, so. Oh. That one. Um, still haven't gotten my Archivist Strength 6 yet. Ah, Kay, you should come along with me on the Mondays. If you, if you can and if you want to, obviously. Um, because I've got my little weak aura telling me. Uh, how many bits and pieces left. It's more to go until complete forever? Nope. Nope. I, I'll take plenty of screenshots, but I can't- <laughs> I can't stop there. Come on now. Bashy a seahorse! No. So you're paying attention? Never. Too much attention on chat. Deep Star Orlin. Nope. Paying attention in this economy? We can't afford that. No, we cannot. You are correct. Frustrates me the ones that I can't cheat. God, I get every time that specific spot every time.
Who is that one? Uh, good question. I got it from uh, the website, the Wago IO site thing. Uh, hey, Josh. Can this girls thank you? Get your own curler for twenty dollars off using code Fiama at WilerahHair.com because that's the person I am now. <laughs> but legit, it's the only like yeah, it's their dream wave, uh, and it's the only curler I ever used that actually like the curls stick; they stay. Uh, which is a big deal because, you know, my hair is really thin, uh, partially because of genetics and partially because of my autoimmune meds. Um, my body doesn't function at optimum when its immune system is repressed, funnily enough. Um, and because I'm quite an oily person, I have oily skin, oily hair, all that sort of stuff. Again, genetic. Uh, so curls tend to drop out really, really quickly on me, but these ones seem to hold. They, they stay, uh, and it's really quick and easy to do as well. Like, you just, it's a big chunky thing, and there's a slot in it. You just kind of put the hair through it and press the button, and then it beeps a bunch, and then, yep. Uh, we're doing makeup and nails, makeup, hair, and nail stream on the 27th of May. Um, and I'm going to curl my hair from, from start to finish uh, on stream. So if you'd like to see how it works. Um, and if you yourself don't want one for whatever reason, perhaps there is somebody else in your life that does. Or who might benefit from having some fun hair tools to use. If that's something that they enjoy. Um, right, so we've got three minutes until until. And then there's these anima vessels which have research in them, so I should probably Do those as well. Hmm. Alright. Why did the Wilera not work? That's odd. That one should work. I thought I added that. Didn't we add that? Oh, I did! Wait. Where did it... It was perfect. I don't know what it was called, thank you. Did it go, but thank you, that's okay. Someone in your life may, who, who might be interested. Did that work on... See, okay, so Zam, the Qualitron post came up in my in the chatbot thing, but it didn't come up in my chat chat thing. That's super odd. Did it actually come through for you guys? Vlogs, of course, Elk. Enjoy, enjoy the lurk. Come through in chat. That's super strange. Okay, there you go. It did that time. But yeah, it... Oh. <laughs> Soz. Uh, but it came through in the, in the like, the console of the chatbot. Like, the dashboard. But yeah, I didn't see it in, like, chat chat. That's so strange. That's super... I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Found the right one. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like that. <laughs> Literally just like that. Without the Logitech bit. <laughs> um... But yeah, super good. Definitely recommend. All right. Now, last time we were here, I did not see the announce happen in chat, so there is a chance that that doesn't happen again. The lurk. Enjoy your lurk, dupe. We will see you shortly. I am sure. It was called Searching Archivist. Didn't have anything that looked like that. Lol. Well, I don't even remember what I... I think I typed in the Archivist Codex, like the whole thing. I don't, I don't remember though. Or maybe research, checklist, something. I'm not sure. But yeah. Train Silver Pelt. You got it. It's the Train Silver Pelt. Just never do things for the stream. You're very welcome, Lucky. Fingers crossed you don't. I hope you're all safe and everything's tied down nice and securely. Doesn't it really look like that by searching, researching? Ah, okay, cool. There you go. 
Ding, ding, ding. Sheba wins. Indeed. Number, please, sheeps. Is the jailer dead? Good question. Um, there it is. Did it print? It did not print. Brilliant. Um, so the, the cutscene with the jailer, I, I'm not sure if you'd call it dead because, like, I'm not sure if you'd call them alive to begin with. He's been deactivated. Yes, he returned to the form of, like, looking like one of the things from Zerath Mortis with all the groovy lines and stuff all over him and, and like made the you know computer shutting down kind of sound and all that kind of stuff so I would assume that's what that means like if you'd call that death then I guess so um but I mean you can turn a robot back on again so I'm not sure if you'd like, I mean I don't think they will in terms of storyline I don't think they're going to reactivate the jailer after what he did uh but or Zaval, or whatever you want to call him. But, um, yeah, that's kind of... That's what happened there. See, so I said Shiba would get it. You did. You are correct. You did say that. Okay. I don't think I've done a Tormentors down here. That's interesting. under three minutes. Um, time to head out. Have a great show. Can I get back on later? Of course. Thank you, Rel. We'll do. Three. Where does the jailer come from in the first place? I'm so confused with all. Ah, uh, he's one of the first ones. Same as the Winter Queen and uh, the the Kyrian person and. Uh, uh, Side and Athreus, they're all they're all created the same way. They are the first ones. They were created as like the the watchers of the Shadowlands, essentially. Ah, uh, was the Arbiter before he went nutty. Yeah, but yeah, it's uh the first ones. Uh, number three, you say. The game is called Dark Future Blood Red States. So there you go. Enjoy. Congratulations. Oh, Jailer's Nintendo. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my mistake. I used the wrong word. Yes, you are correct. I'm sorry, my brain did the did the fluff. But it's he is still one of the like Winter Queen all that kind of stuff. They're all they're Eternals, and they were created by the first ones. Um, yeah, my bad. I used the absolutely wrong word. That was totally my fault. Um, but yes, that is that is what I meant to say because they are all Eternals. Yeah, and they were created by the first ones. My sincerest of apologies. Um, we got 50 seconds. Ah, oh, I can't believe you'd lead us astray like this fear. I know, right, sheeps? Look, br blame the brain, blame the colander. It looks a bit convoluted at times. We have we have been introduced to a lot of new like factions and races, and I mean I know we get introduced to a lot of new factions and stuff, but the actual like the races we've been introduced to, and the new creatures and creations, all that kind of stuff. There has been a lot of them. Pretty much everything has been brand new, rather than kind of taking in other things from the past and and reintroducing them as as relevant again. Uh, so yeah, it's it's been a lot. It's been a lot. <laughs> Um, uh, 
Okay, since you've been doing a lot of hair research, can I ask a hair question? Uh, I have not been doing a lot of hair research, but you can try. <laughs> Correct. That is, yeah, you can absolutely blame the colander. Done. Accepted. just bought some leave-in hair conditioners just to use on fresh clean hair. My hair is not. What happens if it's dirty? Uh, it'll probably make it more dirty. Use as directed. Always use as directed. Otherwise it will not do what you want it to do, basically. It's not going to bleach your hair or make it fall out, but it will make it like more dirty. Or the, the stuff won't sink in because you've got a coating of oil on your hair or something like that. Who knows? Doesn't matter. Don't like use as directed always just yeah if something has instructions on the packet it's because that's how they want you to use it so it's not shit <laughs> that goes for pretty much any product under the sun honestly unless an expert has told you an off-label use just use as directed i mean play heroes of the storm None of them amounts. None of those amounts. That's all right. Uh, we're gonna head up top to um place with the stuff. We're gonna go up here and take the horsey to the venture result. Uh, and I'm gonna grab those anima vessels, as the list tells me. And then we can head back to. Uh, Corthia and uh, try to cross a few more things off that list. We should be able to get a few things done, but I don't think I don't I don't think I've ever cleared the list properly. Uh, but that's alright. Um, just won't affect it. Destructions what? Uh, follow the destructions. If they're I yeah I tend to call instructions destructions. It's a carryover from my childhood. But um yeah if. If a product has instructions, follow them. Pretty safe bet. All right. Off we go to the thing you actually said instructions i was using to oh di okay brilliant i look sometimes i don't even notice that i'm doing those like replacements it's a thing it's a thing it's amazing though it's actually hilarious Ah, oh dear. So what's happening? What do people get up to today? What have you achieved? No matter how small. That's look like- that looks like that's an anima vessel, because there's an arrow on it. I don't know if it's actually under me or... Seems like it's under. Is there an under here? Like a down? Or is it bugged? Maybe there's a cave around here somewhere. Seem to be going up. <laughs> mm. 
Achieve breakfast! Fantastic, Kaz. Well done. Good job. Minnie's D&D campaign! Oh, awesome! Gosh, that must be so much fun. It's a time walking yesterday. It's a weird way to animate emotes. Okay. Do I... Do I want to know? I'm slightly concerned by this. I, I don't know how to get to this vessel. It's supposedly directly underneath me. And that I don't know how to get under there. It doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe is, oh, is it maybe in that hole, like the, the cave in there that's really far away, possibly. Okay. Well, that's crap. Um. Find a way. It's not one. <clears throat> that just goes over there. Right, I have to take the orderly thing to check the top one, right? There are two. Oh, wait, they've gone away. Oh, is there one in the rift? Oh no, okay, because the other one is the non-specific. The the other one, non the non-red one. And then there's three that are in the rift. Okay. Ugh. I've never done the whole get to the more in while in the rift thing. I've just I've never done that. Um Does anyone else want to try it with me? I'm joking, it's fine. Uh, uh I worked. A lot of my lawmaster ordered a lot of makeup and hair dyes, so there's that awesome. Really clean my kitchen out for an overhaul. Kanga, well done. God, that's such a good feeling when you like do a clear out like that. It it sucks doing it a lot of the time, but like the end result is usually just so worth it. Hubby into his two-week hospital stay, then came home. I hope Hubby's all right. Hope he's feeling better real soon, Sin. Um, to group pointed out something needed to be added to the manual facility. Agreed. Awesome. Fantastic. Well done. Go you. Are the two stupid is not possible to check who didn't do the soap mechanic right in Warcraft logs. So far, I haven't achieved anything today. I'm sure you will shortly. I'm sure you will. The soak mechanic, does it do a certain amount of damage? Can you filter by how much damage people have taken from particular sources? Thinking, you know, the basic of basic. Um, starting from the start, work your way up sort of thing. Um, check the Totally Secret Sanctum channel. All right, give me a sec. 45 grand overnight on WoW. Spend the morning at the hospital, special appointment, then WoW again in the afternoon. Okay, birthday, fantastic. Well, happy birthday, Gita. Happiest of birthdays. Um, is it Anduin? Asks Jack. That is directed at Zelk. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious and adorable. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. 
That's awesome. Yeah, it does. It's it's not easy though, hey. Especially when you've got edges that fade to nothing and, and all the transparency and stuff. For sure. Ah, I just need to have a bunch of tests done. Yeah, that's that's fair. Look, at least they're looking right. Means they're taking it seriously. Always a good sign. Um. Alright, so what have I got left to... There's anima vessels in the rift. I don't think it'll change to the rift unless I'm actually in the rift though, is the problem. Oh. I'm still missing some stuff in the rift, uh, and then the spectral bank keys. Okay, so I'm gonna port back to Oroboros and then head on through back to Corthia and try to cross a few, like the relic gorges, I don't think I'll be able to get because they seem to be super rare mobs. Um, but most of the rest of the stuff I should be able to get. Should, being the operative word here. Ah, oh, no, it's on Regalon when you get the debuff that needs to be cleared by killing your Kuzo moving into the puddle. I mean, if the debuff lasts full duration, then they did it wrong. There you go. That's a, that's a good indication. Thank you, Jack, for the, for the feedback. Go. Guys, <clears throat> we're missing him. He's a favorite person. He looks like Will. Where is he? Yep. Yep. And as much as you explain it to the kitty, they're never gonna understand, eh? They just, it's almost like they don't want to listen. Ooh. Battle time. Maybe I'll go attempt that while I'm here. Might as well. I don't think it's actually on my list, but uh... No, nah, it's not. That's okay. I'm here. Might as well. But I have done Tormentor, so I can cross that off. <clears throat> not technically a who did good, more a subset of who did bad. Well, I think that's what Zuck's looking at. Uh, trying to figure out who did bad so that they can figure out who they need to talk to to say, hey, this is how you do this mechanic. Please make sure you're doing it correctly. If you're having difficulty, let us know so we can help kind of thing. Um, rather than saying, yay, these persons are great. Uh, Loza, Zem, Silver, Kledgy, Demon, Neke, Merc, and uh, Brick, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. And people who died with the debuff because they stood in stuff. Yeah. Yep. On to the next map. Uh, we're gonna go skins, because I think you guys still need a couple skins, right? 
Craft logs replay tab is by far the most helpful thing for that IMO. There you go. Rather than looking through actual filters and stuff, going and, and looking at video of where people went when. That makes sense. Nice, my warrior. When the debuff expires, multiple people take massive damage. That will lead to multiple shots. Well, but that's the thing, it shouldn't be expiring because they're soaking. Is that what I'm supposed to be understanding here? So if those people are dying with it, like if the if the debuff is expiring, then those people are doing not good. And they need to be spoken to. Look, it's been a little while since I've done the current raid, but I am doing it on Wednesday, so there's that. <clears throat> soak it then there's no damage if it's not soaked as bad yep so if the debuff is expiring then that is not right it should not be expiring it should be it should be lasting a shorter amount of time because it's being soaked prior to it going bang so if you like how if the debuff is say 10 seconds anyone who's actually got it on them for 10 full seconds is doing the wrong thing I'm guessing that that is what Jack is getting at. I don't know how long it lasts, but as an example pulled out of my ass, yeah. It doesn't even matter how long it actually is supposed to because the example still stands. I don't like to tank things. I'm a squishy mage. But hey, it could give me a mount. That'd be nice. That's not a mount. Oh well. <clears throat> uh, yeah, debuff full duration equals bad. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's actually a really good way of being able to pick up on it. Excuse me. also equals bad I mean yes you are not wrong not mage correct matey that is not a mage I however am a mage <laughs> if I were a paladin I would not be taking as much damage as I currently am why am I still in combat hello Les welcome back with the Prime Gaming sub as well. Thank you so much for the resub. The alert should, there we go. There's apparently some delays currently, apologies. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Collectible shards! Hey, congrats, I see. Well done. That is a lot of fun. I think Jas and I did that in like week two, I want to say, like week one or two, went around and did all that. Ah, oh, it was great fun. Jumping around with our uh, Venthyr door shadows. Ah, oh, so much fun. Ridiculousness. Alright, try to scoop past these ones. not work that's fine uh, how are you doing quite well honestly my my life is kind of everything's sort of turned upside down there's a lot of great and a lot of good and some not so awesome um as as usual there's a lot going on and it's a bucket of all sorts of things so yeah just kind of taking it day by day and making decisions as they arise and just, yeah, sort of doing the best I can. It's all we really can do, isn't it? So, yeah, but no, um, the, the good stuff is really, really good. So I'm I'm doing quite well and I'm uh, going okay with my to-do list and stuff too, which is good. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like 
a boring week or two. That'd be nice. <laughs> but beyond that, can't complain. Hope you can say the same. Hope you're doing well. It's very therapeutic. It is like going through and, and grabbing a number. Like, yeah, it's it's lovely thing to do. I Those are some of my favorite things to, to complete, like those kind of achievements and stuff where you got to hunt around and get every single treasure and all that. Yeah, I have a lot of fun with those ones. I enjoy them a lot. And click them all, watch a YouTube video on where to get them all. Got to the last one. Still needed one more. I had no idea which one I missed. I had to go back around the numbers and find the one I missed. No! There are add-ons for that shit. There are add-ons for that shit that can tell you on your map using quest IDs which ones you haven't done for fuck's sake. <laughs> if you had asked or if you had complained in Discord, we could have told you. Ah. Uh... There are add-ons that tell you that shit. <laughs> uh, does any rare in Bastion drop mounts? I uh, don't know, but Handy Notes will tell you. Handy Notes is the one that I use for most of that kind of stuff. Because it's just this really compact minimalist and tells you like everything you need to know. It's good. Uh, we'll never clear you on us. haven't played for a while. No rip. If you're collecting anything at all, get Handy Notes and ATT. Correct! 100% agree with Jack's comment. There is a reason Jack has a shiny VIP badge. <laughs> and that's one of them. There are several reasons, honestly, but that's one of them. Useful, helpful information. <laughs> uh, mostly okay, same situation as you, I think. Yeah, just so much going on. A mixture of great and awesome and crap. And it's like, can everything just chill for, for the, just a minute? Would be nice. Cool, thank you. Yep, I get you. I feel you. I feel you. Ooh, what is that one? Oh, it's an invasive mushroom. Delicious. Do you still need four mushrooms? I am making good decisions. <laughs> On my mount. Ah! Excuse me! Where the hell did you come from? You bastard. Oh no. This thing better not do any knockbacks, I swear. There we go. I always catch what I'm eating. Ice cream. Yum. Yeah, what rare in Bastion drop amount? Uh, you did ask that question before I see, and the question was, I don't know, check our handy notes. Uh, or ATT. Both of those will tell you if there's anything that you can get in the zone that you're in, or in the zone that you select using the, the checky menu-y things. Uh, I don't know if there is one. No idea. Couldn't tell you. Uh, there's not much else with me, just more crap. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I get the feeling that fear is white knuckly. Look a little bit. Just just a touch. Right there. Just just a touch. Uh, where is my last key? Is it round the corner? Of course it is. Come here. Wait, what? Oh, it must be around the other corner. Good. Um, uh, for once in move house, and I cat die by the music at the moment. It's not a good time for me so far. I feel that. I feel that. Well, hopefully things quieten down and, uh, you're able to do what you gotta do. Ah, uh, fear's leveled up. Fear has learned the move snap. No! Dislike! Can I unlose? Can I unlearn the move snap, please? Do not want this move. Where's the move tutor? Can I unlearn snap and learn executive function? Is that a thing I can do? Does anybody know? Has anyone, can someone test that for me? <laughs> oh shit. Um, anyway. Ah, uh, roof from my head and a job most important thing. Yes, that's awesome. Look, some, like the, 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 like base need stability is, is definitely a good thing. Definitely a good thing. Cause you can kind of go into autopilot a little bit. Um, while your brain kind of processes the other stuff until you're ready to like deal with it, deal with it. Oh no. Oh, I hear a jazz. No path, you're available. God damn it. First thing he hears when he gets through the door is me yelling about door shadows. Good. It's exactly as it should be. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh gosh. We're fine. Everything's fine. Good. Wonderbar. Um, when you see handy notes, you get all the parts asking for a friend. Um, get, like, there's the base one, obviously, and get the parts that you're looking to do. If you're like me and an idiot and like to collect all the things, then yes, get all the parts. But beyond that, if you're just focusing on Shadowlands, you can just get the parts for the expansions or the um, patches or whatever that you're interested in. Um, it really, it's, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but I have all of them because I'm that person. Um, keen for the new X-Pack though, looks decent. Yas, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, look, I am, I'm excited, but we need more info. They have released like very bare bones information at this point. Uh, we have an idea of what things are gonna look like, but um, no real like in-depth information. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to them drip feeding us more info as we go along. Very keen, very keen. Uh, separate add-ons for expansion. A uh, rare one too. I wonder how different the mall would feel if they let us fly. I... I don't know. I... It, I'm guessing it'd feel a lot smaller. Like a hell of a lot smaller. But that's not always a good thing. I don't know. I think I'm okay with not flying in Corthia in the mall, personally. I know, you know, people are gonna, eh, I wanna fly everywhere! And that's sure, that, that's fine. That's your opinion and all that, and that's totally okay. Uh, but I disagree. I'm pretty okay with the current state of things. I think I'm ha I'm really happy we got to fly in Xerath Mortis because being able to see that landscape from the sky is just, but it was also designed with that in mind. Like they intended for us to be able to fly in there. Um, I think there would have been some very, I think that the Moor and Corthia would have been even more difficult to navigate if they had designed it with flight in mind, intending for us to be able to fly at some point, um, which would have been crap to be like for the, you know, full on, what was it, like a year and a half almost. It would have been terrible. It would have been even worse an experience than we had than, than, than people, you know, they hate the Moor. That's totally right. It's fine, understandable. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think that um, it would have been even worse. Uh. Uh. I've been Red Dead Redemption 2 and just finished last night. Hey, fantastic! Congratulations on finishing it off. Such a good game story. It was cooked and so much shit hits the fan. Oh, it's great when that shit happens, hey? And it's not real and you can turn it off and everything's fine again. Ha! <laughs> be a fun day when you no longer rely on Dora Shadows. No. No. I want it. I, I love it and I want it to stay forever. I mean, I have Blink. Give me a talent that gives me Dora Shadows back. I'll take it. Dora Shadowlands, let's just some will do. I just want to know when 925 will drop. Yeah, I'm I'm not too sure about that one, hey. Um. Um. i pretty sure I clicked off the buff for the duck, whatever. Why am I still not? Do I have to push this one? Yes, okay. I clicked off the buff, but I was still on the bear. So that was an interesting feeling. I know that the purple chest is over on the island. KSM. Yeah, but KSM won't be finishing up until season four starts, which will not be when 925 drops. Haven't they announced that already? Jas was talking to me about it the other day. Like they're actually going to let 925 settle before they start season four and season three won't finish until, until season four starts. As At least that's what he told me. He could be wrong. But um, yeah. 
Um, you all know I'm crazier than you when it comes to ADD. Look, I, I know. I know. Uh, yeah, 925 does not equal season 4. Correct. Correct. We. not here either. Where the hell is the purple one then? How did I miss it? Oh, and that's evading. You can hit me, but I can't hit you. Unfair. Not nice. So. Oh, hang on. Hey, there we go. Oh, it's evading again. That was a very recent interview. Brilliant, thank you, Jess. Resume is not what happened. You just got some time then. You got like four months. This was an interview was on Twitter when directly asked about it. They said S3 would be a normal runtime. Uh, Zephyr! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. Hope you had a fantastic stream. Hello, Bubbles. Welcome on in. Uh, for once plenty of time, I only need another 800 for the rating. We got- you're closer than I am, okay? You're closer than I am. Uh, Bubble Tea Affiliate. I am indeed, Dr. Bubbles. Uh, the company I'm with ships to Australia, New Zealand, the United States, and Canada. They are currently working on shipping to the United Kingdom. Uh, but as yet, they've run into a couple of hiccups, but, uh, that's okay. They're working on it, and that's, you know, it's half of it. Half the fight, half the battle. So we can manage it. I'm sure you'll get there. Just been interesting because I've been pugging. Lol. Yeah. Yeah. Pugging's a lot easier when you got Jas as a pocket tank. Let me tell you. <laughs> Resident Oversleeper. Hello. Hello, Lander. But yeah, Bubble Tea Club are freaking awesome. They're run by an amazing group of people as well. Like, super lovely people. You know, we're doing the thing or nah tonight. Yeah, we can absolutely do the thing. Uh, let me just give me nine minutes, it looks like, on this rift. Uh, to... I always forget that I'm not supposed to click that one. Um, but yeah, uh, give me nine minutes for this rift to run out and then we'll... Then we'll uh, form up. Do the thing. I've heard a few guys let me run them with the 15s. Ah, oh, brilliant, Kay. Fantastic. Yeah, Jas and I did a few keys on Saturday, I want to say it was. So I'm at uh, 499 rating now, I think. I'm away. I'm away off. I'm away off. But we'll get there. We'll get there.
Um, so yeah, we're gonna, once I get out of this rift, once I do what needs to be done here and get out of this rift, uh, we're gonna do a couple keys to get me on my way. Um, and then when Jas has to skedaddle to get ready for raid, we'll go back to regularly scheduled programming. Are you going to stream the keys? Not all of them, no. Uh, but we will stream a couple today. Up, so it's got to be one up the top there. And cache, right? That didn't happen last time. That's a little upsetting. I uh, really just sit and figure out one of those random rare pretty materials I need to keep and why. Aren't they all just tossed into the pot for like the fancy feasts and stuff now? I've just been selling all of them. ATT doesn't tell me I need them for anything, so I don't keep them. Now I gotta head down there to get my last rift bound cash. So the Mount Collection Monday. Exactly! And that's that's exactly why it, it's a Monday. And well, yep. But Jas does raid on Mondays, so I can't do like a full stream of, of keys. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, hey, if we've got enough people to run an actual like a group who can actually clear keys um, after Jas goes to raid then uh, we might keep going with it, but we'll just we'll just see what we've got. Because um, as, uh, look, as, as harsh as it may sound, I don't really have a whole lot of time to just, to, to run keys where I get like two or three rating out of it. Do you know what I mean? Like there was a key we ran the other night that took us like an hour or so, like it was more than an hour to run a key. We went well over time um, and I got like 10 points from it. And I'm like, uh, if it was a brand new key, sure. Because at least I still get a decent chunk of, of points out of it and stuff. But it just... Um, <laughs> hmm. That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, just that the soups and some crafting professions. If you're talking about the ones that specifically say a rare proto material in description, all of them sell for 10 gold. I can tank timed all 16 is what you need. Uh, currently not a tank, uh, cause Jas can tank. Um, but depending on once Jas goes to raid, we'll see what we've got and see what we need and go from there, I think. Probably our best bet. Uh, this one is the ones in the cave. So let's hook up there and let's see what we can do. Yeah, I've got this good. Ah, oh, Google has some easy gold. The fuck is it with people who do it and put their lower level weapon in their offhand? Ah. Uh, yes, I need to frost. Yeah, but like. Still. Why wouldn't you put your lower eye level weapon in your offhand, Jess? That makes sense. If you're hitting mainly with your main hand, then you want that one to be higher eye level. That is probably why people do it. Not everyone knows all the shit that you do. You need, like... Again, another reminder, Jess, that not everyone plays the level that you play. <laughs> like, for realsies. Um, Jess's pocket tank. Jess is awesome pocket tank, though. Like, legit. Amazing.
Uh, guy has a 265 man hand, 278 offhand. Pretty sure I should know better considering that. Huh? You can do an stick here probably a bit, bit. Better bet. What level keys are you doing in the future? Uh, good question. Um, I just need to get my KSM. Uh, so whatever we end up doing for that, be it at or above 15s. Uh, we started with 10s when we were doing it on Saturday uh, because I don't have four set. I don't even have two set. Um, I do have one piece now though. So that's the thing. Uh, but yeah, we were just kind of, I, we took my key and just built it up to wherever it went. So that's kind of probably what we'll end up doing until it gets to the point where I'm having to target specific keys to get my rating up. Um, it, at which point we'll obviously be begging and asking for, for specific types of keys. But yeah, it'll just be to get KSM. I'm not looking to go anything redonkulous. I'm not a super hardcore endgame player. Uh, so, yeah! But I do, of course, appreciate any help that anyone offers and, and is able to provide, because, like, it's nice to be able to do it without Getting super stressed out by stuff is a good feeling. I have enough stress to deal with in my life. I do not need to be stressed out by a video game. Uh, <laughs> um, about to say that's right until you said that other way around. This weapon skill scale harder off the main hand skill. Yeah, but the way you said it, Jas. The fuck is it with people who do wield? putting their lower eye level weapon in their offhand. As in, why the hell do they put their lower eye level in their offhand? Did you say that incorrectly? Because logically, the main hand should be higher eye level, right? So that would be, mean that your statement was wrong? I feel like you've said it wrong, and now I'm very confused. Um... Uh, do you have a fire mage guide? No. You don't want a fire mage guide from me, I'm shit. <laughs> like, Wowhead has a fire mage guide. I am I am not. You don't want a guide from me. Um, <laughs> trust me. Come on, give me a repository. I need it. And I'm running out of time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, your hair's looking fancy. Thank you, else. Shame I can't help you there. Totally fine. Totally fine. Red and vibrant. I know, right? It's I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. And the the curler is doing an amazing job. Very happy with that purchase. Um, yeah, he did. He got around. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Awesome. Because yeah, I felt very attacked. And then you're you know calling it out that it's the other way around. I'm like, hang on. Just this is why we all need to take a deep breath before getting frustrated at other people's playstyles, because otherwise you get shit wrong. I'm just going to get it all that there's a difference between main hand and off hand. No, but it does in the way that it's called main hand and off hand. Like, me, from a logical perspective, I would absolutely put my stronger weapon in my main hand, because I'm going to be able to use it more effectively with my main dominant hand you, like logically speaking that makes sense and it is a role-playing game so yes should clear the tool tip these days like good well you can get yourself a curler i ain't curling nobody else's hair that's creepy and uncomfortable uh but if you want to get your hands on a curler you can exclamation why larry and chat will get you there and uh yeah code fiamma will get you 20 bucks off love a discount served. Love a discount. Alright. Boom. Oh, that is not as much as I thought it would be. That's okay. Uh, what are we on? 39%. That was still 12%, I think? Look, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Um, alright. Jast, do you want to kick things off? We press on. Leave me be. Stuff! Uh, yeah, 39%. That's alright. Um, I think some of the attack tool tips say XX main hand damage and XS offhand. Do they? Oh, I've... Personally, I've not seen that, but I mean, I also don't tend to use main and offhand weapons very much. So, 
Not 100% because my thing I would love is to be able to choose your tunes dominant hand lefty gang rise up. That'd be very cool. And make the, like, sh switch the side of the um, uh, animations and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, excuse me. Um, question you everyone. Hope you had a pleasant day. Really, I, I did, Seeker. Thank you for hoping. And I hope that you have as well. Welcome back. Sitting here minding my own business, watching stream, checking my archives when my kitty Riker forced himself into my arms. <laughs> Such a little kitty. Oh, that's adorable. 0.75 main hand and 1.5 offhand. Why would... Why would they bother having the... Like, why even have a one times damage then? If it's like... 1.5 is the lowest multiplier for offhand. That doesn't make much sense. Uh, good morning, Sink. Welcome back. Not saying you're wrong, else. Just saying that's really confusing and weird. Um, my key is a Necrowake 13. Uh, Jas. Anyone want to heal? Always look for your healers first. I don't mind does something like that, but not really. Oh, okay. Interesting. Is H power still? Yeah, but like, I don't want to be like, Jack, get in here and like demand your presence, you know? I'm just like. I would like for you to have the option to not say anything if you're not in the mood. I'm polite sometimes, okay? <laughs> Can do awesome. Alright, I will just well yeah, good. Mighty blow with both weapons does a total of Oh no, but that's a tooltip for an ability else, not the actual weapons themselves. That's an ability, not not the weapons. We're talking about the specific weapons themselves and like white damage slapping with your main hand and off hand. That's your, yeah. Oh no, it's okay, we can we can do my key. It's a 13 Necro Wake and I'm sure we can probably turn it into a 15. Um. Oh yeah, I'm not fucking doing a Sanguine Depths 23. Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> I will destroy your key. Uh, Neke, Zorgal, Cat, Death, Fade and Silver. Congratulations on your bonus shit. We will fail it so hard that it won't just degrade, it will become no longer, like it'll just delete it from your inventory for the week. Um, <laughs> nah. Yeah, you don't want me in there. Um, since all my dual world teams are alts, I have twin heirlooms in each hand. Yeah, look, mine too. Except when they do something and they, like, they do a quest or whatever and it's like, here, like once they hit 60, it's like, oh, okay, I'll take that. Um, consent is very good indeed. The J team, Jas and Jack, look, you said it, not me. I should like feel consent to join, not demand. Yep, yeah, I'm sometimes I'm a little too polite. Which can be a problem as well when I'm attempting to network. I'm too polite to insert myself into conversations. <sighs> yeah, it's it's difficult, but that's okay. You are not worthy of doing keys. Try again next week. Yeah, exactly, right? And then it gives you a two to start off with. Because it's like, nah, you failed that way too hardcore. We don't want you anywhere near any kind of important dungeons. I have every confidence that Jack would be able to do that with ease, but me, no. Uh, we're not trying. Do we want to pick up any more viewers? Yes. I probably should have read that in my head before I read it out loud in case I wanted to answer. No, hey. Um, okay, we are looking for people who are capable of timing a 13 Necro Wake. If you are not comfortable with that, that is okay. There is no obligation or pressure. We are looking for two DPS who are comfortable timing a 13 Necro Wake. <clears throat> I went the wrong way. That's fine. With ease, hell nah. Look, more ease than I'd manage, Jack. Like, <laughs> you'd make it look easy for the rest of us. Actually genuinely curious about auto attacks now. Wish I had game time. You might be able to find enough data to figure it out on places like Wowhead and stuff, but I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, okay, so, okay, so Jas is okay to DPS as well. 
Um, so we would be happy to take a tank and a DPS or two DPS. Um, or a healer, I guess, if Jack wanted to switch into tank spec, but that's probably, uh... May I serve? Uh, tanks are fucking full over this week. It's great. I keep saying me a classic info. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, you, if you're on Wowhead, you can switch it up the top left-hand corner to, to the current, to, like, retail. So I'm gonna go over time 10. Can always read it up. Would have hooked out the wrong region. Totally understandable pack. One day, maybe, one day. Most of my 20s done on Ret somehow. <laughs> Lamel, well done. Look at you go. Finally figured out how I can see you made the mistakes. Yay, Zalk, well done. Well done. Interested in a 13 Necro Wake? Oh, wait, hang on. You're EU as well, aren't you? Shit. I'm having difficulty remembering who does what. Really touches a lot. That's okay, Lando. Well done. Well done on Heroic. Uh, it is looking, judging by the reactions in chat, that we are going to be looking for pugs. Which is totally okay. This is what happens when you're not like a dedicated key channel. The viewership isn't like a key oriented group of people, which is totally okay. But yeah, that's um that's what's happening there. My priest boy, totally okay. Not a worry. Uh, I'm in live channel if either of you want to join me, but there is no pressure, of course, because uh streaming things. Don't question it. Have received reports of wildlife wreaking havoc like I said last time, Jess is probably they're wanting to just like log stuff and see how they go. Please restore calm however you can. Like push the numbers higher and stuff. Uh Jane currently talk room is Oh totally okay, Jack. Not a worry. Is the offhand question about how much white damage a weapon in your offhand does? Because if so, it's 50% of the damage it would do in your main hand. Does the in- like, where is that in-game? Does it tell you that in-game sync, or is that through, like, experimentation and stuff? Um, Chiba today at lunch, I walked over to two people from my group, said I'd see them next week and thank them for using my pronouns correctly. Group since people- Ah, yay! That's awesome, matey. Nicely done. You gotta start getting aggressive with the J boys, demand their presence. Ooh, I don't think that would go well for me. <laughs> like, I feel like that just would not go well for me. Um, be in the spell book. Yeah, but sometimes it's not like you'd think that, but sometimes that kind of information isn't given freely, which is why we're kind of having this conversation to begin with. Sleep caps. That's okay. <laughs> My caps! Yep. Used to be on the character sheet. Uh, I was going to tell you jump on warrior. You're going to group together. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Look, if if I was able to, I would have as soon as we started the conversation, I would have jumped across. But no, nah, I'm I'm in the middle of things and stuff. Did you type it wrong, Jas? Did you put it in as a thirty-one necrowake? Like, is that maybe? <laughs> oh, I can't hear you. Hang on. Have I got this in wrong again? I think I have. Yeah. What happens when I switch headsets every week? Try again. Hello. Hello. There we go. Pretty sure in expansion. Past expansions, dual passive in the spellbook, but there's nothing there anymore. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Um. So are we zoning in now? He is. Yeah. The lock seems to be in war mode or something. Yeah, they are. That's what the red swirly means. Um. Did you accidentally list it as a thirty-one? It was listed as a 13. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why there's a friggin... I, I would imagine it was the same reason there were people like that in our Saturday groups, and it was because they were just, like, pumping numbers to make their meters look better and stuff for their logging. Which, hey, I'm not going to complain about that. I get points out of it. <clears throat> oh, it's a viewer. <laughs> oh! Ah! It you! Hello! Sorry to force you out of lurk like that. I, my bad. But yeah, it's um. 
I was Hello. very confused of why you're here. <laughs> you have a very respectable mythic score. Bastion will burn. Amazing. Well, thank you very much for, for jumping on with this. <sighs> uh, are you going to give me a countdown or new? No. I'm going to give you a countdown. Okay. This extra excitement. Yes. Uh, she's genuinely there. Echo Eggs and Mount Drop 2, though. That's why I'm always keen on it. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Jess is going to lose Egger to Mr. Rain of Fire over here a lot. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's a shame this is a win. So wish it was the norm, but a win is a win, and we will take it. Yep. It's, you, we are allowed to celebrate the victories while recognizing we still have further to go. Absolutely. Um, I don't think it's a problem as a paladin, though. Jass is not a paladin. Jass is a death knight. Yeah. Well, speaking people, IRL is not a strong point. I felt it was worth it for sure. Absolutely. I'm so, not a paladin. See, Jas is not a paladin either. Correct. Thank you. All right, good. I mean, he does have a paladin, but all right, go time. Jas is a DPS yeah, tank. What the fuck? Yeah, look. I was trying to pick up the bodies. But... I don't know why you pulled. Okay, well, I didn't realize you couldn't trigger a key when we're in combat, so that's fine. Now I will help. I saw the buttons I had to pick them up. I'm not a paladin! Uh... Key's off to a good start, you guys. Uh, Alright, do you want to do another... What's it? Make it a, like a five second one this time or something, maybe? Can't do a five second. Why doesn't go to yeah. five? DPM does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I'm using DPM. I'm <laughs> on my UI now. Yeah, fair. I I mean, same. Uh, I get my bone shield. So so frame, so there's a paladin. Nah, this is Jassia. Then there's Jack there, Oogle, and then Cobra Killer. I think I'm not sure if they're of you or not, but they were in the queue, so we accepted them. It's all right. You gotta do what you feel comfortable with, you know. No point getting super stressed over a video game. Yeah. Can I hit um, something? Ooh, that hurt. Uh. <laughs> well, everything I wanted to target jumped behind me. It's always great. Would it get in the circle? Spin. Like the one thing I thought I wanted to hit. Nah. That's important enough. So, uh, the Paladin logged off. <laughs> yeah, but they died twice as well. Three, four mana. <laughs> Just leave them there so when they log back in 10 minutes later and we haven't kicked them, they get sucked back in. So they can't play for half an hour. Yep. <laughs> it's your punishment. You try to rage quit, you can't play the game for half an hour. The Red Ring is necrotic right? Yeah, I know it's necrotic week. I jumped into the freaking timbers. Um, yeah, I was tanking. Fuck. I, I was in a nice spot because I couldn't run to you. Maybe keys straight after work is not a good idea. I asked yesterday, and you said yes. Well, we gotta get your rating up sometime. Correct. When else are we gonna do it if not after work? I am incapped. 
I cannot move. Should we just wipe it and let them reset? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to stay dead. Really shit start to yep. So deep breath and let's keep going. I mean, regardless of which aspect it is of Mythic Plus, if it stresses you out, then it stresses you out, you know? There's no way you can avoid that. It's not like it's a single-player mode where you can jump in with NPCs, so... Oh well, is what it is. Just Jack and Giyama? No. <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> oh lord. Bring your experience. Swear I don't bug if I can help it. Usually we're fine, but um, that's alright. We just had a bit of an oopsie at the start, and someone decided that one oopsie was and warranted them, you know, rage quitting. And that's fine. That's up to them. That's how they want to respond to a simple hiccup. <laughs> then I hope that their life goes much more smoothly than the average key, because uh, <clears throat> let me tell you. That's how you respond to life struggles. You ain't gonna go far. Because they're giving me necrotic dead. stacks at a ridiculous rate. Ow, 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 Emotionally invested in things like this, yeah, nah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Failed. Of course, that's what I'd say. That's beautiful. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Gas spelling stuffed. <laughs> it's alright, I'll make the adjustments needed before I actually make it a quote. Actually never seen someone quit a key this low. Oh, Oogle. I, yeah, no. I've seen people quit fives. Like, <laughs> especially on first pull as well. It's, it's a thing. Like, it's absolutely a thing. It's not a good thing, but it is a thing. This isn't a flawless run where every pack is done in two seconds flat. How can I be expected to commit my time to this fuck you all amount? Is basically the, uh, the thought process there. <laughs> I mean, hey, I don't want them in my stuff. Like, why why would I want to play with somebody like that? No, go away. Yeah, 
Yeah, those incapacitates are painful. Excuse me! Oh, no, that's a good thing. Okay. I can't drop stacks. Do we need to be making use of CC? No, we really shouldn't have to. That is not the question that I asked. We are formatting this. Do we need to make use of CC? No. Definitely remove some of the little guys from the arena so that you would develop necrotic stacks slower. It's okay to use the kits granted to us. It showed up. Ah, oh, I got a bottle of my hair dye from Soulbringer, and I got a poster that has some glow in the dark elements from Lady Chaos. I'm so, oh my god, I can't wait to hang it up and let it absorb some light. It's going to be beautiful. So excited. This one's key. Why would they rage quit? Because they don't want to waste their time on that. Funnily enough, if they try to log back in, they're still in our group. So they're going to have to. So, yep. That's why I said don't kick them. Because, uh, then they'll be stuck with us for half an hour. Well, the issue is, if we complete it, they get credit anyway. No, we kick them right before we get credit. If we complete it, they get credit. Well, that's upsetting. I mean, I understand it's to protect people from, like, disconnect issues and stuff like that, but... When they've been offline for 98% of the key... That sucks. <laughs> oh well, at least we can lock them out from being able to play the character for half an hour or so. I'm gonna mount up on a repair thing. Maybe click the button. Oh, okay. Never mind. Interrupt. Mm, yeah, people in my fiction environment that well shouldn't be that way. Well, yeah, but there's nothing you can do about that. Interrupt. It's like trying to change the entire of society in the course of 10 minutes. <laughs> like, you can do it over decades, sure. But, yeah, there's no point stressing over something that you literally cannot affect. Interrupt. Interrupt. Back at that one. Interrupt. Can't get that one either. Sorry. We have to get the next one there. Interrupt. See. <laughs> Ah, yes, please do follow the fear on social media. Would love, absolutely love to involve you all in all the different platforms. 
feel free to share me cool posts that other people make. Not because I want to copy it, but because I'm looking for inspiration and you can absolutely be inspired by something and not copy it. Uh, so yeah, send me the fun posts so I can see what's up. I do have a few ideas like that people have given me, like Interrupt. Um, that I'm currently working on Interrupt. producing content for, uh, but more ideas are never a bad thing this endless 24-7 world of content creation. There is no such thing as too many ideas. Interrupt. <clears throat> Interrupt. Skipping that. Really can't be fucked dealing with it, with it with four people. Fair enough. Face me, necromancer. Oh, do you want to mark one to kill? Thanacos will be avenged. Are you so eager to yeah. share Thank your you underlings' up. fate? Your vaunted courage will be your doom. Your temple lies in ruin. Your brethren are butchered. You have already lost. Vile monster. Mm, and I'm going poster 1022. Not too many to go now. I know, right? It's it's amazing. Interrupt. Like the number just keeps going up. It does dip down every so often. I will. I lose one or two here or there. Interrupt. Uh, but, yeah, no, it's been, the growth has been phenomenal. I'm so, so grateful. No CC only AoE. Yeah, look. Look. Sometimes slow and steady is, is better, but not always. Heavily depends on who you're with and what's going on and, yeah. It also drops him out. I mean, look. Double whammy. God, can you imagine what it's going to be like when these mounts get to, like, when this mount in particular gets to the top of my list? I'm going to be running it on Bloody Mythic on every tune I have at 60. It's going to be a little bit bonkers. But I don't think that's for a while. I think it's a pretty rare mount uh, in terms of percentage of players who have it. I need to don't be a douche button. <laughs> Interrupt. Can I stack back up? Yas K, well done. Interrupt. A lot of coins the last few weeks. Interrupt. I mean, it means I've been picking good community Interrupt. challenges, right? How are we going on the shaft arm one? Interrupt. New one for today. Not gonna lie, I kind of expected that one to explode on Mount Fun Monday, but we'll see. We'll see. society off and on that might work. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, a heartbeat. Updates need to be installed. Yeah, a few patches. Is anybody got a hammer? Uh, no. Is it close by and I can go grab it or? Oh, Oogle's got it. Party. Um, 
Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Interrupt. 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 You will be brought to justice! You dare deny me the sky? Um. I shall answer this in time! This was uninstalled the society. Got on my 30th try. Nice, Sal. Well done. Foolish paragon. There is nothing you can do to stop us. No matter. My minions are endless. My soldiers rise once more. Plus this, please. Bust? Watch your step. Sacrifice comes a victory. Collapse. The fallen shall serve me again. Oh, she's saying kill ads. I kept thinking she's saying killax, as in like a cross between kill and relax, and I'm like, um, how? She's saying kill ads. It's just weird and robotic. Good lord. Okay. Killing is relaxing. <laughs> Says Jassereth. Good lord. Oh, that's towards me. It's really quite funny. Ooh, battle. Sacrifice comes a victory. That's what I do. Oh shit. Ow. Yeah, that really hurt. Yeah, well, kill the ads. <laughs> oh shit. Both work. He will. Of course we do. Your arrival proved oh, we still need 2.83. battle rages on. We cannot rest until these invaders are purged from our skies. Um. Mythic 2 plus 2 is your infinite and trivial as long as you can find people can with keys. Can you sheep one of the humanoids? Ah, uh, yes, I can. I can sheep the humanoid. Bone mender. And get the bone menders. No, that'll work. Sorry. <laughs> it's directly the thing you told me not to sheep, so. <laughs> Do you want to flag one of the bone menders for us to kill? Focus on. Because I want the Baroda dead. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. That's coming. Interrupts on the sorcerers, please. Fine. No final harvest for you. Sorry? No final harvest. Yeah. I can't interrupt that one. Ow. Interrupt. He's a reset. Maybe they're not the baddies. Yes! Raising channel points for Shah Streams. What the doggo said. Good doggo again with the caps. You're doing very well, Seeker. Doing very well. All the 
Wow, in window one, chat in window two. Is this is why you need multiple screens. Owie, owie, owie. Fucking don't hit things until I I didn't! I have not touched anything! It was the spare parts were running around, they attacked my face, and they hurt. I didn't touch shit. Watch your step. Walking through me. <laughs> Watch your step. Watch your step. Positivity. Absolutely. All the positivity. It's great. Love it. Oof. Oh. Watch your step. Watch your step. I'm in pain. <laughs> Watch your step. I'm not sure Jack's my biggest fan right now. Ooh. Yeah, pretty sure da Jack dislikes you thoroughly. It's more the not a single melee than the two. <laughs> we had a melee. <laughs> this is where I'd put my melee if I had one. <laughs> Spicy pool. <laughs> Thank god I talented into run fast. I've had worse pools. We've had worse pools. <laughs> that went better than Oogle thought. Brilliant. <laughs> Such an awkward vibe. Just calmly murder everyone. No, we've got a battle waiting. Just been waiting for an opportune moment, and there's not going to be one. So let's push a button. Big legless axe dude sweat. I like the raids though. They're they're making jumps. Spare parts fixate. They ignore our tables. No, I know. I know. Well, yeah, but it, it just it still hurt. Stuns exist, and I was just like, yeah, I had all of them on me. Yeah, no way, always stuns. I've got it. Well, it's a disorient, but same deal. Mm. 
These tanks accusing fear of shit. This is Jas accusing fear of shit. He always accuses me of shit though, so it's like I'm used to it. Run, run, run. I'm running. Good to stand. Good to stand. Good, Good to stand. stand. I'm standing. Definitely not reading chat. It's fine. <laughs> Caught again. Ah, oh, God. Oh, well, it's a date on chat. Fantastic. <clears throat> Drain these fluids, biatch. forgetting that Jas can hear her reading chat. Yeah, but he can't hear me scrolling through chat looking for the next message to read aloud. That was the issue. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know guys, I think this battle might be close, what do you reckon? chest. <clears throat> Congratulations to Glowful, Death, Pack, Meaty, Neke, Silver, and Seeker on your bonus shit. You wanted to tell that by the way. I managed to clear button. all of this deck. Button's not working yet. It's the laggy thing where it won't let you go back to map yet. Did she guess the mount tonight? She did guess the mount tonight. Mana critic right now as well as people inspired to get practice on the others. Well, that's all it is, isn't it? It's just getting enough experience at each of the different ones to, to see how you go. Like learning the roots and getting the roots from uh, mythic dungeon tools and doing that kind of stuff can help as well. It tells you what to pull and in what order, like which packs to pull. Um, it can help, especially while you're learning. Eventually, you know, you get to the point where you not only know what to pull, but you can kind of make your own roots on the fly because you know what you're doing. Um, it's kind of like that skill that comes with years and years of raiding. Um, you can kind of read the dungeon journal and figure out how you're going to have to deal with each mechanic just by reading what the mechanic does. Uh, it's a skill and it can be learned and so it can be learned by you, you know? That's kind of... It can be learned by literally anyone. You just have to put the effort in. Stop screeching. Oh no. Alright, the link's in chat. Place your units. I place mine before the uh now. Now I have to rebuild those two. I can't wait to put your okay, I'll place mine later. <laughs> Target you. <laughs> I must preserve your Oh shit, today. fuck, sorry. <sighs> focusing on the fucking Yeah, I was focusing on the relics. I'm an idiot, I know. Your 
greatest was yet to come. My advantage of doing them, having someone explain things as it's run, actually, if doing things, so lost mechanics. Brilliant. Lost. Bastion shall be laid to waste. <laughs> Target you. Frozen. Watch your storm. Can you escape the storm? Watch your None step. Can escape the storm. Can escape the yes, storm. <laughs> yeah, it's quicker for me too. <laughs> My body free. Yeah, 39 seconds over time, considering we were four manning it, was that's not bad. Like, <laughs> that's look. Um, so yeah, I've got a uh spires 12, obviously it got downed. Um we wanna do that and see if we can bump it up. Sounds like a good idea. Oh look, an indestructible one hand up. Invited to a guild called Bunning Snags with Dad. I don't want a guild that almost persuaded me. Um, there's an option in your like settings menu to turn off incoming guild invites if you're getting spammed by them or whatever. Oh, because that was really close. Yeah, really not a bad overtime given for manning it. I I agree. Honestly, I agree. Um, yeah, not bad. Uh, all right, I'm gonna place my unit now that I'm not dying. Uh. this one. Did I disconnect? Something's going wrong. Yeah. Whoa. Did it break? <laughs> the purpose reviews our way. Did fear disconnect? Look, it happens a bit, hey. It happens a bit. Uh, Binks, yeah, there's, uh, so Armory spelt without a U for a while because they're American, but I don't have an Armory link. I have 50 characters. That's too many links. Um, <laughs> what information are you looking for? I could probably, uh, give that to you. Um, the simple Armory for collections, yeah, but that's not really going to give you, um, 
the other stuffs. Um, just curious to see what mounts you have. But well, uh, simple armory. We'll we'll do that for you. I have six hundred and sixty mounts. Uh, Data for Azeroth is also a good place to see that kind of stuff because you can see like account wide things. Although I'm not sure if it shows you account wide if you're not the person that owns the character. Not too sure. Uh, but yeah, I've got a few of them. Just just a couple. Too much to ask for a melee. Yes. Three warlocks, what I presume to be a boomy, a mage, mm -hmm. a rogue of questionableness, and a paladin <laughs> of even more questionableness. Well, you asked for a melee, you didn't specify what kind of melee. Take the rogue. How may I be of service? Ah, oh, how many points did that give me? I have received 165. Wildlife wreaking havoc nearby. So I'm at 664 now. The drought must have driven them into a frenzy. Oh. Please restore calm however you can. <clears throat> You'll be able to start upgrading some of your gear soon. Hmm. What gear, though? <laughs> I think the only thing I've actually got that I can upgrade is my 9 of 12 uh, staff. So, yeah. Um, another level 60 for the collection. Seven of them, Zam. Well done. You're ahead of me, that's for sure. Job. Uh, I'm at the stone. Did you choose someone? Hello. Oh. Greetings. Bloody caps, I give up. <laughs> we have a poltergeist seeker stealthily pressing the key. Uh, what time do you think you'll need to skedaddle, Jess? No later than half past seven. Okay, so probs after this one. Unless we can knock it over in 15 minutes. Well, if we can get you every single key done this week at no minimum of the 12, we should be able to push you up to... KSM rating. What about overtimes? Yeah, overtimes are fine. Like, I got KSM with an, with an overtime, overtime 7. seven I know. <laughs> I know. Like, well, I've only done four dungeons. This will make five, so I'll be halfway. That's the problem. And it's like Monday. So, you know. But look, hopefully, maybe this weekend we'll actually clear that to-do list again. And I'll be able to, we'll do some keys on Saturday. Just depends on what we get. Um, but yeah. Mind, I still have not timed a DOS on either difficulty. <laughs> yeah, we did. Fuck. Yes, we did. We right. timed the still fucking 12. 10. My best is still the overtimed 14. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we've got a warlock. Indeed. Funnily enough, my best key at the moment is Taz Streets. I don't, uh, uh, no, he did Gambit. Oh, that was the 10. Maybe the DOS was a 12 that we timed. I don't remember. An 11, maybe. If you balance it out, you can get KSM with some having no score on one side or the other. You can, but you also have to get, like, 18s and 19s and stuff, and I, I genuinely don't think that I am skilled enough to be able to do that. Maybe if I was carried, but I, I feel icky about that. Just combust on the CD. Okay, uh... Just do it and flame strike everything. It'll be great. Yeah, but I need my I need my tier. 
like for realsies. I need my tea. We're working on it. I know. It's still combust on CD. Okay. All right. Mr. Warlock man. It feels wrong not being able to target damage. I hate that I can't. Like, it feels wrong not having my CDs up for a boss. I know, also, but it feels wrong. Also, with the relic thing, you'll have them up at some point very quickly during the boss. Also, could somebody okay. come out and help me summon again? Why? There's a fucking stone inside, Numpty. There's a stone inside? Yes, we're waiting for you. Was AFK. No, we're waiting for you. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, I got my KSM without doing a single HOA on Fortified. Well done, Zalk. Well done. Like they've made it a lot easier. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's, yeah, it, it is, is a lot easier to get this. Yeah, it, this e dungeons. Yeah, this season is um. Yeah, yeah. But look, we're just we're gonna do our best we can each week until the achievement procs, yeah, and then I'll. Ah, the oh, whoops. <laughs> Should have summoned Jazz. We should have from outside. It'd be fucking great. Oh, why did I not think of that? See, you, this, is why, this is why we love you. We could do this really Let's no. <laughs> Let's do this massively with like 11 minutes left on the timer. 11? Nah, 4.15. Let's go. All right, let's, let's go. go. Three chests, baby. Let's do it. Let's push the 12 to a 15. Yes. Sorry, I didn't notice. I was too busy posturing. <laughs> Pull them all, Jas. Red, do not encourage him. My way. <laughs> yeah, my relic. I hate that thing. Yeah, but I get haste. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. It shoots me in the arse for half of my HP. <laughs> but it gives me haste. I like haste. It's haste is tasty. I don't have an interrupt for Goliath. Ow. Yeah, I think you needed to call it before it was casting. Because I'm on the Vi intercept because that, you don't that's like that's it. That's the thing, it hasn't cast yet. I got oh. shot. <laughs> Yeah, my one shots are annoying, especially in tier of pain. Brilliant. Who thought that a teleporting guy that could one shot you was good at this? One of the devs. Look, I, look, the, the haste buff is a good idea. The one shot, fine, but don't make him teleport. He can one shot or teleport, not both. <laughs> both is just annoying. <laughs> Oh, Oogle, if you wanted to join us in Discord, you're welcome to. You don't have no pressure, but Delicious. if you would like to, um, you can jump into any of the voice channels and we can drag you up. But again, no pressure. You don't have to. I hate that you can't multi, like, it's just silly. Why is it one at a time? It's all good. I, I discovered something the other day. After the second boss, you can, you can jump on them early. Moida. Why not? It's only necrotic. Pull all the first floor. This tank guy is a total noob, doesn't even pull everything in sight. Currently soloing this dungeon on normal to get the shards. For the silver larian! Ah, oh, brilliant. Why not just queue for a normal? Like queue for it directly in normal in um the group finder. Blitz through it and then uh go back and get them once the group's Ow. done. You'll be helping out some newbies too. Everyone shoots through the ground and you can't see it. Yeah, look, the te like projected textures on stairs are always like the worst Somebody thing. Somebody interrupt Goliath. Interrupt. Actually, Fear, could you just keep an eye on the Goliath for me? Sure. Whenever I was keeping them. an eye on the Mender to spell steal. Interrupt. <laughs> You give it a go for funsies? Totally fair. But if you can't, that is another option. None shall be spared. Yeah. Plus, please. <laughs> Why 
Yeah, you're right frickin' there. Go away. This is my spot. The, the chicken was there. I'm talking about the chicken. Why was the chicken there? It was too close to me. Because that's where it always goes to. <laughs> well, it's a bitch. It needs to not do that. Your doom takes flight. Long as lived really ever. Run away. Suffer my wrath! <laughs> well, never! When? I don't have a go fast button anymore. Ah, didn't work, sorry. Fear. <laughs> you can't expect me to remember shit. I haven't done this dungeon in literally almost a year. Yeah? <laughs> Alright. I follow the tank. That's what I do. That's what we're meant to do. Back down the stairs, back down the stairs. <laughs> Jumpy bastard is still a bust. Necrotic is with shades. I mean, um, carrying ability is with shades. I'm stuck on my teeth and life is hard. Oh no. Oh, why do we? Why do we go this way first? Because we need the percentage. Yeah, but why didn't we go to this? Oh, are you going around this side? Right. Okay. I have changed my my uh, strats. Right. New season and stuff. <laughs> I don't like change. I gotta keep um. up with the program eventually. Nah. I don't have go fast button. I'll ask for CC. I did? No, you did not. <sighs> I need to ask for CC. You can frost over and shit. Well, if I'm complaining about no go fast button, maybe frost over. Yeah, but I don't know why you're complaining about it. Might maybe you're just bitching. Like, <laughs> you need to communicate. You need to communicate appropriately. What you were doing was not communicating effectively. <laughs> um, hello, Ali. Yeah, look, not too bad. I got some attempts in for some stuff. And uh, we're now doing a couple of dungeons. Not too many, just a couple of dungeons uh, towards my KSM, baby because that's a mount. He's indeed a baby tune. Um, but yeah. Keys are being had, done something. Yeah, we're doing doing keys is usually the uh, appropriate. Um, what's it? Don't know how baby tune that, but... da 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 baby tune da 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 da. Jack. Don't know that. Don't listen. Oh, Ali, I'm sorry to hear that. The Kyrian must stand united. Exactly. Had done been dead. So long as you command them. The yeah. <laughs> that done being did. Yep, love it. Master tank, I have taunted the relic. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to grab the chicken, right? Yeah. So I taunted the relic instead. Ow. 
I mean, a pull. That was, you know, mission accomplished. Yeah, but I can't grip a relic to me. <laughs> That'd be really nice if I could, though. So. Interrupt. 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 Uh, hey, Aquin. Welcome in. Yay! I'm, I'm glad you're doing well, Quinn. Glad you're doing well. I don't know, hang on my apartment Monday. Yeah, not too bad. Haven't really accomplished like a whole lot, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Archivist Codex takes forever to grind rep, so like it takes a good couple of hours to get the day's stuff done. Um I'm not really even done yet, so but that's okay. Took a took a gap to do some keys because technically Mount Farm Monday KSM Mount Reward, it's a thing. So yep, yeah, that's what we're going with. Uh, like me to IRL, of course. Enjoy your lurk. I hope your IRL stuff is pleasant and wonderful. Oh, excuse me. Where's the other part? No, that one. Don't want that one. Interrupt. Uh, you got incoming. I know. Just letting you know. I'm sure you knew that they were coming and just didn't know exactly when, so now you do. You're welcome. Jump. <laughs> S hole. Ah, oh, that's great. Uh, okay, so plus no critic weight plus play for a good reason to do dungeons on Monday. Yeah. That's what intermittent thing resolved. More blue chicken snakes for the blood god. Brilliant. Sir, ma'am, robot, whatever the heck you are, stop jumping. <laughs> we stack in, you should stop jumping, right? No, no, he does it anyway. <laughs> yeah, but it jumps less far. Makes it no. easier for the melee. No, it's always 20 yards. Oh. It's very I thought it was jumping to someone, my bad. Just jumps to 
wherever the heck it wants, really. It's yeah. Your shards! Yay! K! Congratulations on your shards! Well done. Okay, uh... We have emote only chat. Let's do that. Crap out of the... Show me your pretty pictures! Killed it, he said, ha. Oh, Ooh, oh what just happened? My whole Lost computer's switch. locked up. I can't. Uh no. Nah. Not sure if you can hear me, but I can't. I'm locked out. This is where you meet your end. Witness, my celerity is second to none. So that's what keep happening. My whole PC freezes. Both screens, both screens shut down, and then they come back, and everything takes about twenty to thirty seconds to figure out what the hell's going on. That's why I thought it was a PSU thing, or obviously graphics card. But um, yeah. Not match my There's literally nothing I can do about it. It's just never happened during a stream before. You cannot match my alacrity. Witness Shockwave. radiance. <laughs> uh, uh, I know. I'm just. Waiting until I can actually click the button. <laughs> Everything's got input lag right now. We sacrifice because we must. Mortal burdens would only impede our sacred duty. Stream if you do. I have no idea. I like the whole thing locks up. I do not know what happened. I do not know what you saw because I couldn't see anything because nothing was moving or happening. So cannot tell you. It's the first time it's happened during stream. Um. Hey, Jester. Screaming black, you still had voice. All right. Yeah, I know that because um, WoW does that. Whenever something graphics related goes splat, WoW goes black. It can't figure it out. God, everything's lagging like how my frame rate lag is. Like, I'm sitting on 15 FPS. Oh, and I've locked up again. Okay. No bowing. Alright. Yeah, it should not be the graphics card doing something wrong. Because, um... Graphics card is only like three years old. My PSU, on the other hand, is eight. That's why I was thinking that was the cause, but who knows. <laughs> 10 FPS every time I do spires. I, I don't, like, usually, even mid-combat, I'll be sitting at, like, 45 to 50. But, um, 
no, I just, everything just locked up and went black, so, um, yeah, it's, uh, not exactly pleasant. I also don't want to, you know, drag you guys down either, but when something like that happens, it's, can't do anything. Nothing I can do, literally. I just have to wait for it to straighten itself out again. He's going completely eight bit as well. In Discord? No, again. People on the moon take smaller steps than you do. Your defiance must be punished. Yep. <laughs> that there. You did? Um, you see where the problem it would shut down. It's more likely a CPU problem but run a stress test to see. Um, so the entire computer is three years old except for the PSU. If, if it's on, like, if, if the CPU is having issues after three years, that's ridiculous. Like, yeah, that just doesn't make any sense. But, um, look, if I can find some time to run, like, my PC's always in use, this is the problem. Um, even if it's running something in the background, it's always in use, so I don't really have the time to sit there and let it run a stress test. But if I can find time... Dead before you freaking based. <laughs> it was very, very delayed. Alright, um, it might have been pack the Zorgo, Silver, Death, Meaty, Zam, and Fade. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. And so. I listened to the jailer's well, words. Still not working. I learned of the great Get well done, Kay. Congratulations. Thrust upon him and upon us all. He seeks to free us from the prison we have built for ourselves. And for that, he has earned my loyalty. And I mourn your betrayal. <laughs> Button is working now. Give me a second. I don't know what sort of stream rate is like tonight. It's uh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> <clears throat>
sorry, million and one things happening at once. Trying to do all the things. I'm gonna go back and highlight this and send it to stream readers and be like, Ooh, what's going on? Uh, something's not quite right. Accept no! your defeat, Archon. I the serve a age of the Forsworn is at hand. With your spear in hand, I will take control of the spires and forge new paragons to lead the Kyrian. This spear shall pierce the your heart. has twisted your mind, devils. You must be stopped. No matter the cost. Find shelter. Find shelter. Phase change. Obey my command. The winds howl in rage. <sighs> Mortals, take up my spear. <sighs> Phase change. I will strike you down. Find shelter. Spread. Phase change. Obey my command. Perish among the clouds. The spear, use it to bring her down. Oh, what? I miss. Sort of. Phase change. This spear shall pierce your heart. No, well, it wasn't fifteen minutes, but it was it was pretty good. It was pretty good. That was a plus two. The jailer's schemes have schism. Yeah. Look, not bad, but um, one that must be healed. <laughs> it can't be upgraded to a TP. <laughs> Long have we believed um, that our mortal lives are burdens. I don't know. Hey, Ellie, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. In case you want to check it, thank you, Sam. I also set myself a stream marker so I can get like a whole chunk of it because it took ages. Um, my gratitude. This coins. lies defeated. Oh, what you How many? Yes, for figure on socials. Unless you think I'm a redhead bitch, in which case you can fuck off. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyway. Um. Is that any better? You were fine before. You said I was 8-bit! You're stuttering all over the place. Your character, in-game. You said sound. 
that is why I disconnected so I could reconnect so that I'd fix the audio so I wouldn't be just tearing your ears apart on stream. Stuttering is something you do audibly. Rubber banding is something you do in game. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Um, anyway, I don't think we have uh, time to fit another key in, do you? Because it's only like 15 minutes until you wanted to jet off. Okay, thank you. Is Sorry? There no other tanks in the chat? That's what I'm saying. You're gonna step away. Are you not? Yes? Okay. Alright, cool. <laughs> uh, well, there's a portal. Uh, what do I have? A 14... Sanguine Depths. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, so if we had a... Uh, more people. <laughs> uh, more people, you heard me. Uh, I might restart my game because uh, some stuff is going funky because of this stupid splat thing. Um, just bought their terminal widely in the spirit of Mount Farm Monday. Love it, Kay. Well done. Very happy for you. Let me fix up a whole lot of this stuff. Because everything goes splat when those screens die. Um... Right, so was there anyone who wanted to do a 14 SD? We're hoping to time it, but uh, you know, that's what it is. Jas is stepping away to do dinner in raid, so it means we're a tank down. Um, yeah. If anyone is interested, otherwise I will go back to regularly scheduled Mount Fun Monday programming. Uh, but up to y'all. So I can't do the Templar, so I'm going to place some Barbarians. Which I think I just did, didn't I? Yeah, bugger. Uh, I will do this and restart the game. Here's a weird one. Someone who isn't subbed gets to pick. Sounds cool. Sounds like an interesting condition. Tank or healer. There you go. Plus a DPS. We can pug the final DPS, but yeah, we'd need either a tank or a healer. No, it's totally fine. Um, you just might not have anyone respond to you because I think a lot of people who are not subbed are lurkers rather than people who would be interested in engaging in chat, which is totally okay. Not a problem with that at all. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a thing. I shouldn't have any non-followers here. Look, we, we do have them come by occasionally. We have new new people every so often. Sound like is am I right? Uh, well, there you go. Oogle isn't subbed. Kaz is also not subbed. Uh, they are both eligible for picking one of the voices from the list. Wah. So you can enjoy. Enjoy. Have we ever had Forest Troll? Apathy's also not subbed. I'm not sure. Don't remember. Hello, Nev. Welcome on in. Apathy is chosen. All right, Frost Troll it is. Let me just get to it. <laughs> it's this one. This is Frost Troll. Uh, so, do we have anyone who would like to participate in further keys? Uh, we could pug the last couple slots, uh, or I could also go back to farming the mounts I was farming before. I know. We should run. Less deep than fungal. It's terrifying, give me a heckin' fright. Alright, so this is a scary voice. Understood. Understood. Not as bad as Fungal Giant, at least. So I'm, I'm, uh, audible, like, you can, you can understand me. It's a lot of voice. Yeah! What did you think of Watch Seeker? 
What did you think it was? Oh, right, okay, I get you. Understood. She's never gonna, yep. Yep, because the threat, gotcha. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, all right, so it looks like, um, uh, so this is from the Blue Microphones World of Warcraft uh, Yeti, uh, World of Warcraft Edition Yeti X microphone. It comes with a bunch of voice effect modulator type dealies that are inspired by World of Warcraft characters or creatures. And this one is called Forest Troll. We have redemption for channel points that's up every hour, I think it's every hour, uh, where you can pick a voice from the list and I use it for two minutes. The two minutes is also almost up. Almost up. Um, so, well, did we want to find bugs? Or do we want to leave it at that? Because it looks like nobody in chat is interested, which is fine. Totally okay. I'm not entirely certain how much I trust a uh, hug healer on Necrotic Week. That sounds kind of scary. <laughs> but also a hug tank who doesn't know when to run away. It's a uh, mm, am uncomfort. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a 14 sanguine depths. Um, it's a big jump. Um, I am leaning towards just leaving it. Um, I mean, I've got half the dungeons done. I mean, none of them are a 15, but so they come totally fine round, not a problem at all. Not a worry. And then maybe we hit up some more next week and then just continue grinding it up slowly but surely. Um, all right, I might, I might call the keys there and go back to my other Mount Farmy stuff, but thank you guys so, so much for coming along. I will absolutely be doing a smattering of keys again next Monday, uh, and jump in the Discord if you're interested. We'll probably put the, like, if we get a chance to sit down and do some, we'll put the call out. Um, feel free to, to jump in there and we can do a ping if that's something that people are interested in. Because long as your tank's not a DK. <laughs> oh god. But Jas is a good tank. Just, yep. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna head back to Corthy then. Thank you so much to both of you for, for coming along and carrying Mars through a four man uh, <laughs> dungeon. That was, look, not what I was intending, but it's fine. It's fine. And I, I've increased my rating a bit. I'm now at 834. I was at 499 before we did those dungeons. So, improvement. What is that? Is that 834? An increase of 335 is not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, just a good tank. Even he can't get past 100% heal absorb as a DK. Yeah. Yup. Yup. Agreed. Agreed. Hey man, is 110% required to put me down without IPF. <laughs> oh, 
dear. Ah, uh, dear. Okay, let's go get some... Let's go find some caches and nests and mushies and cross this stuff. I know that there's usually a lot of bone piles in where the doggos are. So, um, oh, well, well crack is up too. Broke still. Interesting. What's next on the list? Because, I mean, I did get 12% of my thing magic today, so that might just, I might be happy with that. Yeah, I think I might be happy with that. Um, all right, who might be interested in killing Balfir? Alliance first. And then we'll switch to Horde for the Night Fae. Whereas technically Prop Paladin can survive with 100% because shields, yeah. Look, for how long? For how long? I'm more at tail last night. Well done, Nev, congratulations. That's awesome. With Divine Toll quite a lot. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ugo. Much appreciated. Thank you. This might be the first stream in like a month that I don't get a mount on Mount Farm Monday. We'll see. We'll see. Nineteen attempts. Not bad. Not bad. That's the one from the Morse Worn caches in Zareth Mortis. Yeah. Uh, I think mine took four or five, seven. I don't remember exactly. Uh, I was on my druid and was like, hey, I might as well open this while I'm here and hey, presto mount. I was like, um, what? It was great. There's a clip of it. Hello, Kane. How are you going? Ah, oh, dearie me. Look, when you take the oozing necro ray egg and the the covenant assaults off my list there's not many things left on my list i might have to resort to although some of them do take like some of them are quite time consuming so that's a thing we just woke up fantastic welcome to the land of the living jellyfish rare on alt on the second attempt nice well done i fished up the goop and so it was guaranteed for me it was nice PvP? Nah, I think after what's on my list there are other ones that I can do. But in the future I am thinking about putting a PvP stream on the uh, community goals. We'll see, we'll see. Open 200 plus boxes and no mount. Ugh, oh, RNG, right, Coin? RNG. It's a thing. Oh, excuse me. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright, um, is there anyone on Alliance side who has the ability to pop Valfir, uh, use the seed on him so that he can actually be killed. Otherwise, Horde on the same shard also works. Otherwise I might just hang out and wait for him to pop. If there's not someone there already. Hello, Sink. You mean just general goodness? Yes, good time zone to you two. Good time zone. What shard are you on? I don't know. I don't think you can tell unless you just rock up next to people. Like I'm on Amanthul, but that doesn't matter. Often like you can be split from the people on your server if the shards are just so, you know. can happen. It doesn't happen often, but it can. Yeah, I don't have the um, anima what's it channeling duva at the right level on my tunes because it requires a ton of anima that I do not have. What is on a month on my main? There you go. Oh, that'd be awesome. Fingers crossed we'd be on the same shard. That'd be amazing. Is that the green fox? Uh, maybe? Which one is it? Wild Glimmer Fur Prowler. Hmm. 
Yes. It is the green fox. Not the green noodle fox. Just green fox. No way. Thank you, Neb. That's so generous of you. Much appreciated. Oh. And I am sleepy today. I don't know what's going on, but I am... I am asleepy. Many days too, just gave in and bought it. Yeah, look, if it was the last thing on my list that I needed to buy with the stuff. Ah, oh, look, it's a Nev. Hello. Welcome. If it was the last thing on my list to buy with the grateful offerings and anima, then yeah, I'd buy it. But there's so many other things that I can buy with that stuff prior to that. So my logic won't allow me to. If not as fun. Uh, as I say, you get rotation with quarter night if you're not night fae. Ah, uh, no, these tunes are night fae. I, I have no idea how to... Do, I, I'm not too sure, honestly. I haven't tried. But yeah, this tune is Night Fae. So, so, definitely not helpful. Which one costs too many offerings, I Ah, uh, Look, maybe. But if you'd been doing it, like, literally daily, since you'd have... Thousands and thousands. It requires work, it requires effort, but like, fair, you know? This may take a while. I'm in tanks back too. Whoops. Ah, uh, Theodore Valfu, the only way for non night fate. Oh, there you go. Okay, noted. But yeah, to, to be able to actually kill Valfir, you need a night fate to be able to take the, um, the. He's got a buff, like a shield type deal, and there's a seed here that only night fate can interact with, and you use that to pop his shield, basically, so he can actually take damage. Um, fair, don't put in the effort. Yeah, look, I haven't put in the effort with the offerings either, but, um, like, when it comes time, I will, and I'll get everything, and it'll be great. But, yeah, there are so many things to do that are kind of, you know, one at a time. Because Necro Lord, she's unholy, just fits so well. She's also a scribe. They have a glyph I want. Ah, there you go. Perfect. I mean, with how easy it is to switch back and forth now, you could technically switch to Night Fae, grind up the rep, and then switch back. Might be far easier for you, depending on what your preferences are. 504 out of 780 amounts, not bad at all. Well done, well done. I don't know what my max is, but you could figure it out. Uh, I've got 660, and there are 217 I have left to collect. So my max is, what's that, 877? An additional grateful offerings are obtainable on more than one covenant a day. Interesting. So you could cycle through each covenant kind of thing and grab their daily dose of it or whatever. This is actually to pick the quest up. It's true, true. Dear, dear me.
kill the amphitheater rare as non night fey, you get some quarter night rep and offerings. Yes. Yeah, so Valfia and Amphitheater are the two ways to do it. To get those without being night fey. To get the rep, that is. Was nearly dead. <laughs> and then I'll be switching on to Horde and doing it on my Horde Night Fae too. Why has it got the... It's got the seed up again. We took too long. Oh, that's hilarious. There we go. I didn't realize that that had a timer on it. Noted. Amazing. All right, so I'm gonna head back. Thank you so much for that. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna jump onto the Horty and do the same thing. I see Jack beat me to it. Just just a touch, Apathy. Just a touch. Right, Nev? Like, oh my, I didn't know that could happen. I didn't know there was a timer to put the shield back on him. <laughs> that's funny. But that's what you get when I don't check my my thing and don't switch to DPS. But that's okay. It's alright, we got that. We got that. That's what matters. Oh, wait, crap, no, wrong tune. God damn it. Ugh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Actually wants to grind Court of Night Rep, switch Night Fae, and just do the tier 2 world quest. Ah, uh, Drove Ult's crap wrong tune. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna go to the opposite to me. I've caught a month of the lights out. Oh, no way, Nev! That's hilarious. Holy cow. That's great. It's like 1k rep a day for one world quest. Wait, the tier 2 of what? The. Ah, oh, for the conductor. Cool. Did not know that. Mm -hmm. Funky. <laughs> Just every every so often I see it out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, hee <laughs> hee. Fun to play with. Find some surfing, but it's EU. Keep forgetting that they duplicate the server names across regions. Sometimes, not always. It's interesting. Hello, Serge. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I killed it. It was fun. I enjoyed myself. It was bouncy. <laughs> it's really nice today. Thank you, Snow. Much appreciated. Look, if there is anyone in any of your lives, including yourself, who is interested in picking up a curling hair tool, uh, Wylera Hair does really good ones. 
Uh, they also have a straightener as well, um, but I've got the curler. I don't have the straightener. Can't vouch for that, but um, you can use code Fiyama for 20 bucks off. Not bad. Bought it for myself for my birthday and uh, liked it so much that I reached out to them and asked them if they had an affiliate program. And they did! And so now I'm part of it. There you go. There's the million servers. Some of them have to be the same. Yeah, that's fair. There's there's a lot of servers. Like a lot of lot. Not sure how many of you viewers are in China. Did you hear the news? China has banned tipping of online streamers. Interesting. How how do you legislate that though? Oh crap. Like how do you define someone as being an online streamer? How do you define it as a tip? Because wouldn't that, like, I wonder if that carries on to affect other income of other types of, do you know what I mean? Like, like tipping at a restaurant or something. Like, I wonder if that affects that as well. If it's, you know, how they'd word the law and stuff. And how they'd enforce it. It's trying to, trying to spend miners tipping online streamers. There you go. Right. Okay, so yeah, that's that is far more appropriate. Did that not did that not go through? Wait. Did that alert come up and I just didn't hear it or something? Nev, thank you so much for the prime sub. So amazing. Welcome to the Fianati. Was it there were also banning minors to play games except on weekends, if I remember correctly? Did they pass that law? Yeah, uh, I don't know if they did or not, but I do remember hearing about that one. Um, no alerts. That's odd. That's really odd. The alert box is there. And we may be. Hi, the sun. There we go. I will trigger it manually. Brilliant. Thank you for the sub. Uh, Cat, Silver, V, Pack, Seeker, Zim, Cat, Zelt, and Like. Congratulations to all of you on your membership. Well done. Well done. Uh, Sweet so just got exalted with Kurana. Yay, Panda. Look at you go. Well done. A lot of stuff they enforce by just turning it off or making it illegal. Yeah, but like, you can make anything illegal, but how do you enforce the illegality of it? Like, how do you track people doing that? And then how do you punish them? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's that's my, my question, is like, how does the enforcement function? Like, I know it's China and they've got their fingers in literally everything. I know that, but that does not mean that they are omnipotent. You know, they're, they're <laughs> the fact that there are people in China with Twitter accounts tells you that China's, that the Chinese government is not omnipotent. Another Mount Farm, hey, congrats, Nev, well done. Look, Mount Farm Monday for all. This is the thing, now that you're Fianati, you will learn that you have like 10 times better chance of getting mounts on Monday, especially especially when I'm not getting mounts on that Monday. If I get no mounts, you guys get like billions. It's great. Definitely a good thing to tune into. Highly recommend. Um, well, there's one thing China excels at. China control the internet at super surveillance of citizen. I get that. I, yes, I know that. But again, the fact that there are Chinese people living in China who have Twitter accounts and get we, we, we get information from China. That tells you that their, their system is not foolproof. Their system is not completely sealed. So how, like, yeah, okay, they surveil, but how do they know what's, you know, how can you not just say, oh, no, no, this is, this is not a tip to an online streamer. Or how could they not just use mom or dad's credit card? like most miners do when they're purchasing stuff through on like through mobile games and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like how do they know it's not miner doing it? And how do they know it's going to an online streamer? How do they define an online streamer? Because technically anyone like YouTubers, online streamers, like 
Do you know what I mean? Um, like how do they define it? There are China specific apps that replicate, obviously they have Weibo to replicate Twitter, but there are also Chinese specific apps for things like Facebook and YouTube and all that kind of stuff as well. So like which ones are online streamers and which content creators are not streamers specifically. And then, all, do you know what I mean? Like, and that's, that's the detail I'm looking for. Cause you can go like, yes, we're banning it. Okay, sure. But people are still going to do it. How do you stop them? How do you stop them? How do you punish them? Etc. I'm just, I'm interested. Like, I'm not saying y'all are wrong. I'm really curious as to how they plan to do that. <clears throat> Let's go kill Shah pretty much. I like apathy's idea, yep, and then sometimes people get caught and carted off to jail, so some people are willing to risk that, others are not. The fear is very effective in stopping a lot of people from even trying. Yeah, it's not watertight, they won't catch everyone, but they don't need to. Yeah, true, but yeah, it's still kind of... Especially if it's not on a Chinese platform. Like, if it's if it's on Weibo, absolutely. They'll, they'll know exactly what's going on there, everything, blah, 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 blah. But if it's happening on other platforms that are not Chinese-owned... They don't have access to the kind of data you might need to be able to do that. Speeding is illegal, doesn't stop people doing it. Exactly. Exactly. Always be ready for battle. Again, not saying anybody is wrong. I'm just honestly really curious as to how they're planning to kind of make that happen. Um... Watching. Also not saying they can't. Just a curiosity thing. So, I mean, it's actually one thing that's very easy to track. Bank transactions will show all the details they need. Yeah, but a miner can't have a bank account, usually, or can't have access to their own bank account until they're X amount of age. So whose bank account are they going to be using? Parents, grandparents, older brothers and sisters. So how can they confirm that those payments came from a miner? unless the owner of the bank account says, yes, this was my child, or this was my minor sibling, or minor friend, or you know what I mean? And chances are, they're probably not gonna say that. Because, <laughs> again, the fear thing. <clears throat> Speeding is legal for a small fee, small is relative. Indeed, they control the internet access, they can set up MITM, man in the middle, HTTPS protocol termination, reinitiates the connection to the upstream server. You freely read all the traffic. Don't think it'll be enforced. It's probably just something to appease the but the children crowd. Yeah. And it's also, it's a scare tactic. It's, it's like, they're really, really, really big with scare tactics. Like, this is banned and it's bad and you shouldn't do it. And so most of the citizens don't. But the ones who are doing it in the first place are probably still going to just keep doing it. Doing all the things that they have been before to protect themselves from the shit. <laughs> uh, they enforce by disappearing a few visible ones and then most others fall into line through fear. Yeah, but 13 year old children don't understand that kind of, like a lot of the time they don't understand that kind of fear. It's like, it's brain stuff. <laughs> but yeah, like look, um, the other side of it is that how many people are actually implementing those features for the, the government surveillance who are of the age where they can come up with those creative solutions and then block them is the other thing, you know? Like, it does seem like more and more of the youth are clicking that it's probably not a great place to be and, and great things to have happening. So the, the, the reason they're trying to protect the miners is because the miners are the ones doing this stuff. Chances are they'll find ways around it. But, regardless. Giving, taking away the ability for people under the age of whatever they would consider to be a miner. I mean, I know legally in a lot of places it's considered 17 and down is considered to be a miner, but depending on their definition. Taking kids' ability to spend money randomly on the internet away, probably not a bad idea. Probably not the worst plan. You hear all the horror stories of kids racking up thousands of dollars in mobile games on mum or dad's phone kind of thing. It's probably a good idea to disable that ability. Of course, that should be on the parents to do. 
But laws cater to the weakest link. That's how they work. Um, oh. I don't really care if you have to return, they just imprison someone. It's not like Western law where you can appeal and sue and get upset. Chinese government do not care. No, they don't, but when it gets out on the internet, they, you know, people do care. What you do is look at how the power requirements for that household is being used. I mean, our company do that kind of stuff as well. Huh? Mining? What are you talking about, Pac? Uh, yes, talking about youths. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I, are you typing in the wrong box? Are you having a discussion about Bitcoin elsewhere? Um, <laughs> yeah, I was very confused. Brilliant, good, wonderful. So you come in and see if you want to go back. Do you have to start from the beginning and build up from that? No. No, it's saved. Hundreds of parents are arrested and executed for ridiculous reasons. The kids understand. Yeah. Um, saved. Remind yourself, first back aren't saved. Wolves have helped the first one. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, oh, and it's Paragon Day. Ooh, five hours. Ooh, I wonder if I can get this done in five hours. Heck. Welcome, land dweller. No one left behind. Don't have all day. What's mine is yours. Everything I smell food. I think I smell food. Something on your mind. This will fried risol. Okay, I can actually I wonder if it's gonna be better for me to cook them or buy them. Buy them! Perfect. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to mm -hmm. be at least two centuries old. Uh, all right. How many did I need? Ten. If I had numlock disabled, that would probably be helpful. If you find anything exotic, bring that all the time. My God. Anyone else? Horde you come from has survived some awful things, just like us. Seeing you stick together, <clears> brings me Now I want one. Rissle's groovy and mash. I always like the most of the ever so slightly burnt and crispy. We actually had uh, sausage rolls for dinner and then leftovers for lunch. Um, from Aldi, they were raw ones, like from the, the meat section. They were beef and bacon sausage rolls. And they were delightful. Like, they were really good. Absolutely delicious. Highly recommend. Uh, that's the PvP quest, so I'm not gonna bother. Can't do that, but I can do Cave of Murlocs. Oh my god. Child Slaver, still talking about amazing food, but like that's what we do here, Seeker. Have you not had dinner yet? And now must eat. Yep. Get some food. I'm hungry. I'm definitely getting there. I've got a bad feeling about So I'm doing Unshackled Paragon rep here. That's that's what I'm doing currently. Um because there's a mount that comes from the Paragon cache, and I do not have it. So if anyone is wondering what the hell I'm doing in Najatar, that's it. That's it. Caramelization is life. Agreed. Agreed. Sweet tasty crunchy carcinogens. <laughs> not burnt. Caramelized. There's a difference. You can make something crispy without burning it. Um, my brother made amazing hamburgers for the family on Mother's Day using beef and bacon patties from Amazing Butcher. Oh, that's awesome. That's so good. God, I love a good burger. Mm.
So cute. I know it's me, and I know that that's me calling myself cute, and that feels kind of wrong, but it's just such an adorable little sound in general that I was imitating. I can't help it. It's just so cute. I promise I don't have my head that far up my own ass. At least not usually. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm getting everything. Okay, this will be good. Position, we need it all. Look for spackles. Hello. Fantastic day. How was your stream? Uh, reminds me, I have no idea but how, but I got the Perky Pug Pet and I love him. Perky Pug Pet is from grouping with 50 different individuals using the group finder tool. So LFG, LFR is usually the fastest way to do it, but you can also do it with the, um, I think it works for LFR. But um, yeah, so like if you if you did it with dungeons and four people were not your friends, like not in your group when you queued, then four people would count towards a fifty kind of thing. <clears throat> um, a hundred different people through the group. Oh, I thought it was only fifty. Maybe step one was fifty, and then step two to get the pet was a hundred. My bad. Uh, but yeah, it was like a, a decently large number of people through Group Finder. Yeah. Hello, Daki. Welcome in. Hope you're doing really well. Uh, that me too. It's been around since Wrath as well. Yeah, it's been around for a long time. It's kind of cool, hey? She was great, thank you. Have you had a great time? Absolutely. Definitely having a wonderful time. Um, doing some mount farming. Did a couple keys to get me in just a tiny bit closer to KSM. It's been good. It's been enjoyable. Oh, <gasps> food. Oh, you are high vis. Thank you for dinner. Much appreciate. Why am I st why are there no things spawning? <coughs> Indeed. Twill be nom. Quite nom. Did I break it? Oh, there we go. It just took a really long time. But they're not counting now. Yeah, I broke it. There we go. <laughs> um. Like a lot of, uh, yeah, fair enough. I'm catching a stream stick from Brizzy Time too. Indeed, I am. Indeed, I am. Chat. Ah, uh, a dangerous place. What's for tea? Uh, dinner is stoke, steamed veggies, and some kale and baby spinach that has been fried up just a touch. Delightful and delicious. Mmm. Nom nom indeed. Show me your high vis delivered food, please. Can do. Um, give me just a second. I don't want to spill it everywhere. Oh, that steak is delicious too. Ta da! I love Pepe and he gets new expand. Yes, the new outfits every expansion. Agreed. It is super adorable. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a ton of his outfits, but um, look, it's fine. Hmm. Mm. So tasty. Mm. 
Mmm. Quite high vis. It is quite chilly here. I have been considering putting on a yakut. Actually, not a yakut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Robe. They, uh, yeah, it's so soft. Like, so soft. It's unbelievable. All right, <clears throat> now that I put that on, I'm gonna spill food on myself. Watch. Um, all right, so I still need kelp bud and cone shell from this area. Before I move on. Oh, there's a cone shell. Oh, and a kelp bud! Look at this. Perfection. It's looking amazing. It's so nice. <laughs> it's it's legit really good. Really good. Uh, comfy sweats. Long sleeve on for the first night. Yep. That should be an e Should you get an OD2? I have one. It's just, like, see here? That's, that's boba, and then there's a twitch pillow. It's, like, here. It's just off camera. In fact, actually, can you see it when- Yes! Here! I have a Tweety Bird one. Tweety Bird one there. Hello, Twick! How you doing? These are so good. They are- they're so soft and comfy. Like, my god. My god. I've got a discount code for them too. It's not affiliated though. I don't make any money off it or anything like that. But, um. Yes. Two is my fave. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Good. Hope you're well. I am. A little bit chilly, as you can probably tell. But yeah, no, I'm very well. Thank you. Very well. The the night shirts. Oh, are they just like. Are they just bamboo shirts? Like, is that. I've got a couple of bamboo shirts myself. They are very snuggly. Anyone hungry for seafood? <laughs> Sika, thank you. For those of you who are lurking and not checking chat, let me allow me to read Sika's message for you. Fear has been tantalizingly teasing an exciting announcement. Don't want FOMO? Follow on social media. Following is free and supports streamers, uh, increasing visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. Enjoy the socials, share with a friend. Fear's next Instagram follower goal is 1,111. You can find all of my profiles at allmylinks.com forward slash Fiamma, or you can click the link in chat, or you can type exclamation socials to reprint the link in chat. Or you can scroll down under the video player, and they're uh, they're in the like the about Fiamma section on the on the right hand side there. Um, thanks for taking the time. It is so appreciated, and and Seeker is not wrong. It is massively, massively appreciated. You don't like. I, it is ridiculous <laughs> how valuable having followers on on socials is as a content creator. Like it's it's such a huge deal. It opens up so many doors. Uh, we hit a thousand just recently and it was a huge big deal massive big celebration we're very happy about that uh, but of course we can be happy but we still must push forward um and yeah one 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 is a nice pretty number to go for so that's the next goal <laughs> uh but waited so they keep you snuggly oh that's cool oh that's awesome like a weighted shirt funky Big arrow on the board. Oh dear. I honestly don't know what I've done to deserve such an amazing supportive community. Like, <laughs> it's it's mind blowing. But I am, I'm so thankful. So thankful for all of you and all the different ways that you choose to support from, from subscriptions and donations and biddies 
and uh, following on the social media stuff and like commenting and liking and retweeting and sharing and all that kind of stuff to um, suggesting gifts and, and sending me gifts from my wish list and, and just all like there are so many different ways that you guys support me and it all just blows my mind. <laughs> like it, it really does. Um, oh, and, and using my affiliate codes and like going with those companies and stuff, like it just, it's a huge big deal. I'm, I'm not sure that I'll ever be able to express just how much you affect my life on the day to day, but you do. And I appreciate it so very much. So very much. Uh, currently at 1022, popped an archer. I'm silly. Why, why, why are you silly? Um, with an age old problem, too hot with a jumper on, too cold with it off. Well, I was a bit chilly and I put this on and I'm getting, I'm pretty okay now, but it'll probably take me 10 minutes before I'm too warm. Like it always, I don't know, like I'm, I guess they're just too effective at keeping me warm or something. I don't know. It's silly. <laughs> Personally, can recommend Wilder. Yes, the curler is so good. I'm I'm so happy with it. Honestly, I'm like I'm so happy with it. I keep using. Oh, hello. hello. Are you just in a rush for raid or? Pardon. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I have bubble tea. Ooh. And look, see how the jelly, oh, you might not be able to see actually because the lights are coming through for me, but they're gonna be like, see how the jelly's floating like halfway up the thing? That's hilarious. It's because the syrup and stuff is down the bottom. That's so, oh, yes. Uh, for how long do you usually stream for? Oh, how long do you usually stream for? Um, usually six hours. Um, I do, I'm an unusual streamer. Give me a second. Mm. passion fruit. I'm an unusual type of streamer. Um, a lot of successful streamers tend to do big energy and going off and all the stuff is hype and rah, 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 like it's really loud and woo all the time for shorter streams because maintaining that level of energy, let me tell you, is difficult as hell. It is exhausting. And so a lot of the bigger streamers do super pop off streams that are shorter so they can maintain that energy the whole time on my side of the fence i'm like our streams are really quite chill i do occasionally do raid and keys and stuff like that but even then it's not this panic 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 kind of thing constantly i still approach them with a fairly chill mindset and so i'm able to maintain that for longer and so i do So I go, my current schedule is four days a week, six hours a day, 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, and you can jump into the, if you, like where it says twitch.tv forward slash VR, like your URL bar, if you stick in slash schedule at the end of that, um, you'll get my schedule, funnily enough, converted to your time zone if you're not in my time zone, uh, and it'll tell you what we're streaming on each of those days. Um, one of them is currently wrong, but I can't tell you why, uh, because I haven't signed the contract yet. But, um, yes, <laughs> exciting stuff. That's the tantalizingly teasing uh, thing that Seeker mentioned. Uh, but yes, so it is mostly accurate, though. Mostly accurate. Mm, yes, Bubble Tea Club, amazing stuff, viscosity science, energy in this economy. I know, right? I know. But look, some people, that's what they look for in their entertainment. They want it to be hyped up and all that kind of stuff. And that's great. That's totally fine. Um, but my content's a little bit different, for sure. Channel the Aussie hype. Oh, I actually can't enjoy that level of energy. Streams like this are perfect for me. Yeah, they're, look, they're good for me too. I, I really enjoy this. I mean, we absolutely do have very exciting streams where a lot happens and everything's kind of amazing and adrenaline, but it's not an everyday occurrence. It's it's kind of like an event, <laughs> if that makes sense. But yeah, this is um, this is much more my, my style. I am an insomniac 
autoimmune condition having 32 year old I I I don't have energy for any of that shit <laughs> so there's that there's that uh, from two women pretty ideal to just chill and watch the stream awesome shot I'm so pleased that we can provide that service for you so pleased I hope you I hope you find a home here with us you leave me here why why am I killing you I see you shiver with anticip yeah nah you know, like that, so I, I got an email today being like, uh, so the contract can't come through today because issue. And I'm like, okay. I thought about messaging you to tell you it wasn't gonna, but I knew that you seeing the message from me would send you into hyperdrive and I didn't want to do that and then have you be disappointed when you opened the message. So, so I didn't, I hope that was the right decision. I don't think either a decision would have been the right one, but I hope that you can appreciate why I chose to do what I did. <laughs> Uh, 50 tunes versus heartbreak energy. Yeah, like the last day of like the last 12 hour stream of doing that and then doing it in the morning. That was that kind of energy. Absolutely. Um, and I would, I would have said that my six year anniversary on Twitch would have been hype energy, but I spent eight hours of it fishing. So it wasn't really super energetic either. Although my partniversary is coming up in June. End of June. Uh, my, my actual partniversary is the 23rd of June. Uh, which is a Thursday. So on the 25th of June, which is a Saturday, we will be doing a celebration. So um, keep your eyes out for it. Killing Seeker, wait, no. Correct, don't kill Seeker. Oh, excuse me. That's something we're going to have to do one day, is get a raid group together and farm that bloody rare. Uh, <laughs> hello, Exo. Hello. Yeah, but there's no patient yet, Desir. That's the point. It's not happened yet. We're still holding, still holding, still holding. Which rare? Um, the Algon, uh, 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 Rockweed Shambler. Um, so you have to kill, there's Lost Algon and Wayward Algon literally all over the zone. There are tons of spawn points. So the idea is you have to, and it, it respawns, like it, it spawns after one of them dies. So you basically have to get a massive raid group worth of people and everyone sits at a spawn point and kills it, kills that spawn. That's the, the um, lightning crackle that you keep hearing is when it identifies an Algon that's up and you kill it and eventually killing them will spawn it somewhere in the zone, replacing one that's just been killed. And then you call it and everyone goes there. But trying to go around the entire zone, trying to kill them yourself is, I tried, it's a waste of time. It like, it often will spawn behind you because it will respawn to replace something you've just killed. And so by the time you get ran back to it, it'll be gone. Um, so yeah, it takes like a, literally a whole ass raid team. But that's okay. We'll, one day we'll get there. One day I'll need to get the meta mount from this zone and it is included in the meta for that. So it'll be fine. Okay, so starfish and spiky death leaf. There's a the spiky death leaf. If I head down this way first. Oh, hey, look, see? That's what happens. Uh, and now I need to grab that um, ally quest. Uh, meanwhile, I'm farming islands. Yeah, look, I was farming islands, and then Data for Azeroth updated its stats, and the island mount dropped, and a whole bunch of Shadowlands mounts went up the list, and so that's what I had to shuffle around. But that's okay. That's okay. We, we, um, I farm the ones that are most common that I don't have. And so every month that list updates because they have new data. Wait, where's this quest? Oh, it's up. Okay. Oh, there we go. I see it. Um, but yeah, it does mean that I get to change things up every month, which is a little bit nice because sometimes it's, uh, 
slightly unpleasant. <laughs> you know, bashing your head against the same thing for literally months at a time. <clears throat> I'm getting currency for that. Albatross! Ooh, nice! Best of luck. I'm pretty sure I got that one, but I'm still getting the, like, I still need the drops. I think I've got four more drops from islands to get. Yeah, I bought the albatross first, because, um, that way I could cross it off the list. Keep sending me energy mount farms and then I just forget. Well, shot. now that you're here, allow me to let you in on a little secret. We do Mount Farm Monday. That's what today is, as you probably could tell by the title. Mount Farm Monday. And here's the thing about Mount Farm Monday. Fear doesn't get mounts. I mean, I have been for the last month or so, but before that, Fear doesn't get mounts. You guys get mounts. It seems that members of the Fianati, the subscribers, and, and members of the Fiamily, the followers, have increased drop rates on Mondays when they're watching stream. And if you guys, if I don't get mounts, you guys have even more chance of getting mounts because it that way you can like piss me off. Yeah. So, <laughs> so there's your little secret. Schedule some self, schedule yourself some uh, some mount farming time on Mondays, and I I betcha. I bet you you'll have some luck. Of course, none of this is actually confirmed by Blizzard. There's n it's not a real thing. Um, there's no, like, Twitch drops activated or anything like that. It's all bullshit, but it certainly feels that way. It certainly feels like it's the truth. I need to make that clear because people think that because I'm on the launcher, um, I'm, like, working for Blizzard or am special somehow. I'm not. It's just a thing. Uh, the hair bashing isn't mandatory for now. It's, no, it's not. I mean, a little bit of it, yes. A little bit of it, but not, like, entirely. The drops don't exist. I've got five out of the nine of them. I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. I think I've offended RNG. You need to pray to RNGesus. Might I, sac might I suggest sacrificing a plush goat toy animal thing? What you're saying is I'm going to get island mounts today? You should do. At least, even if you don't, your chance of them dropping was is, is higher. I'm out for Monday. We farm Runecloth. <laughs> hey, Tommy. As the name implies. Absolutely. Correct. <laughs> Soon TM. Yep, look. Ooh. Shiny rock. Uh, it's true. I got the Maldraxxus Arena mount last Monday after months of driving. Oh my god, Finn, no way. Congratulations. I'm sure you probably already told us that, but I'm going to congratulate you again because I forgot. What's that? Okay, I turn this in now. Good. Uh, I will believe in the bull. Good. It's all for a laugh confirmed. Correct. Hello, Daz. Welcome back. How are you going? Today we sacrifice the Tortol and Teddy. Oh dear. Uh, all right, let's go hook on over here. Four out of nine iron mounts so far. Nice, Apathy. Well done. Mm. You'll overtake me in no time. It's been a while since I've made my way down the list far enough to get to the island. Mounts. Someone has to put a stop to those Naga. Mm. And right now I am crossing more and more of them off, though, which is really awesome, but... The island mount slipped a fair way down. <clears throat> I think my first one is the Kinsho, Kin is my next one that I need to farm. But, uh, look, we'll get there. We'll get there when we get there.
It's really strange that I was doing these things on Alliance for so long, grinding up to Exalted so I could buy that Exalted mount. Um, and now I'm doing it all on Horde again, and it's just... Ugh. It feels kind of strange. It feels so good getting there, though. Like, when you've been grinding for something for months, it feels amazing to finally get there. And yeah, it took me months to get to Exalted with the faction. Not because I'm bad, but because I only do it once a week. I don't really have time to do this outside of the stream time. Excuse me. So, um... It does make things go a bit slower, but... I still get there. I still put the effort in and I get there eventually. It's a good feeling. <clears throat> okay, there's my armaments done. I'm still not revered with Zara Mortis, neither am I. <laughs> neither am I. I went to make my, my belt, I made, because I, I wanted, my uh, memory of Unity actually stays in my belt slot, but I wanted to upgrade it. And so I got there and Jas is like, wait, you don't have the memory. And I'm like, oh, right, okay, crap. So I went to the thing, he's like, wait, you're not revered. I'm like, oh, yeah, whoops. <laughs> he was quite disappointed in me. And I'm like, eh, it's fine, I'll get there eventually. I mean, after Unshackled Paragon, the next thing on my list is Enlightened Rep. Because there's a mount at Revered too. So, I mean, two beds on stone, right? <laughs> yep, good. Could prove to be a great boon to our efforts. Earn its trust, champion. So, wait. It is Vault Portrait, okay. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't heal. Oh well. Uh, it feels better if it doesn't bug you and go through two weeks of tickets. Yeah, look. Definitely. What what bugged for you, Purse? Ah, uh, casual player, I'm proud of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hooray for the casuals. Yep, 100%. Although. Define casual. <laughs> Is it someone who takes X I'm amount of time? casual. <laughs> I'm fucking loving it. Do you define casual as like someone who takes a very long time to get to exalted? Or do you define it by playtime? Or like activities that they come like, you know what I mean? It's kind of difficult to define it because I play a lot. I do not play casual hours, but I don't spend all that time doing keys and raid. So, like, hmm. Yeah, MBV, you can unlock Azurite Essences on a main by my alt. Please tell me I haven't unlocked it on another character. Ah, oh, bugger. Interesting. Um. I never did the Azerite Essences on another character thing, but wasn't it only like level three ones or something? Didn't you have to get them to level three before you could get them on the other tunes? Or am I misremembering that? I'm delay on Sangam last night. Look, I had a really massive issue during one of those keys when the whole, like everything kind of shut down. Um, half a second but it didn't kick stream off so I think it's messing with some stuff um, which I can't really fix without resetting stream and that would involve turning it off and on again and I don't really want to do that
This is the hard one. Okay. Um, I don't mind it. Yeah. Oof. I'm going to make three impairs from the my speed druid. Ah, I'm like, okay, I was like, whoops, that sucks too bad. Just send these creatures my priest of the ring three equipped on my heart of Azeroth. One of the vendor telling me I don't have it unlocked and they were still like, I don't see it. That's so odd. Because, yeah, I mean, from they should be able to see it from their end, right? That's super strange. Like, they should be able to see a flag on your character has things unlocked kind of deal. Wow, that's like a... Huh. Can they not see that you've unlocked it? Or can they not see that you can't buy it? Because I'm imagining that that's two separate bugs that could be occurring there as well. I mean, I'm I'm assuming that they probably haven't told you that granularity of whatever. But yeah, that's that's really interesting. a lot of trouble figuring out what my next move is in this puzzle I can't see one that's rather unusual um and they told me all oh, the other character has to have rank one unlocked first so I was like yeah here's a screenshot of the character with the rank one equipped wow that's super interesting was Wilhelm screams? Yup, absolutely. Let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. Much better. I think I broke it. Just waiting for it to do its thing. Martin, Dark, Seeker, Like, and Zorg. Congratulations to all of you on your membership. Well done! Did fear break the thing? Always. Always. Excuse me, on my eighth ticket escalation in two weeks. Last three tickets are just me replying to them like, no, this is the exact words on the, of the sentence I said. Needless to say, I miss the old ticket system right about now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I wonder, like, how many escalations it has to go through before it ends up with, like, a a senior person, you know what I mean? I'm sure they have some kind of threshold where something gets escalated. If it's like a manual thing or an automatic after a certain number of escalations, I doubt it'd be automatic simply because people would figure it out and abuse the system. But, um, it is interesting. Boom. Mm. Do it three more days again. I'm gonna put my Karen hat. I'll just speak to a manager. Yep. I mean, it's quite clear that this is something that's really kind of. Sorry, my hearing just went wonky. I thought it was the headset for a second, but I don't think it is. I think it's me. 
Um, which is why I went to check in the mirror to see if the lights were still on. Maybe I, maybe my headset had died or something, but I could still hear stuff. So that doesn't make sense. I'm just an idiot, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, look, it, there's gotta be some point where your entry level ticket handler is like, of, of course, most things they can definitely handle for reals, like absolutely. But there is going to be a point at which it's like, um, um, you know, like this is, this is out of our reach. This is an engineering problem, not something that customer service can fix. There is something seriously balked here. You know what I mean? Uh, so fingers crossed they figure that out, um, soon for you. Chill about it worked really hard to unlock a dang PvP as a right. Of course! Of course, no, 100%. You are entitled to the, the stuff that you've unlocked. 100%. You are entitled to the rewards that you have worked for. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, like I wonder exactly what's gone wrong. Like what trigger's been broken or, do you know, it, that kind of stuff fascinates me. I know that doesn't help. And I know that's probably really frustrating to hear. Oh, I'm so glad that you are interested by my problem, it's, you know that's not at all what I mean though. It's, it's a, yeah, it's the scientist brain trying to figure out like what has caused this issue, how do you prevent it from happening in future, etc. It's a fun puzzle. Just not so fun while you wait for it to be solved. Drunk, angry murlocs. Let's go do that quest. Engineering <clears throat> problems are those finalized at about 5.30. Brilliant. Well done, dude. Well done. I'm seeing screenshots of ticket wait times for 30 plus days too at the moment, so hopefully you don't have that far out. I have a feeling that sometimes those numbers are artificially inflated to make people go and figure out their problems themselves. Like a lot of times people will open a ticket and it's bullshit. Like it's not an actual issue. It's it, it's like it's a known bug. This is supposed to be a bug report, not a ticket. That kind of, do you know what I mean? Um, whereas, you know, with, with Purse, it's actively preventing her from getting a reward. That's a bug that you open a ticket for because they can fix that for you. Whereas if you're just reporting a bug, like when I did with the Tormentors of Torghast, the chat thing the chat line not printing um oh it's underwater isn't it um the chat line not printing that's not ticket worthy that's a bug report you know like it doesn't actually affect me it, it like i i'm not missing out on something because of it it's just something that's supposed to happen that hasn't um so yeah that's that's a ticket uh, that, that's a bug report not a ticket so a lot of people open tickets for things that are definitely not gonna be fixed with the ticket so I think they put those massive long wait times on them kind of to deter people and so that people can kind of go ah crap or they'll go google the answer themselves or something uh rather than waiting a month but at the same time I think that they'd only inflate them that much to scare people off if they did actually have a legitimately really massive queue uh, again I have no inside information from Blizzard about any of this bullshit this is all just stuff coming out of my own brain um, I, I am not an insider. I get no information like that at all whatsoever. Um, what about your scientist brain? Have you heard of ear rumbling? No. But yeah, occasionally my ears do just kind of, like, the volume turns halfway down or something. You know, like everything, it sounds like I've dunked my head underwater all of a sudden. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> not uncomfortable at all. It doesn't hurt or anything, it just frightens me a fair bit. It's like, what's happening? Why can't I hear anything? I just want to be a speedy girl, of course. Of course, one of the things I've learned in WoW, don't let certain races get drunk. Murloc, Hosen, Dwarves, yeah look. You are not wrong. This response to my ticket was an automated response to the links to where I had in the forums. Yeah, of course. Well, absolutely. And that's, I mean, that's, it's ticket clearing. It's queue busting. It's, it's something that happens in, in most places. Uh, and especially in a place as big as Blizzard with as many tickets as they get. Absolutely. 
because 80 to 90 percent of tickets are solved by visiting Wowhead. Especially when it involves, I didn't get this item, or I can't buy this item. Usually it's because you don't have the required rep, or you haven't done the required tasks prior, or you're talking to the wrong place, or you know what I mean, and all that stuff can be answered by Wowhead. You gotta remember, people are idiots. <laughs> like, like, most, like, think of, think of average intelligence. Half the world is not as intelligent as that. So, like, a lot of people don't have the critical thinking capability or even the thought process capability to say, hold on, maybe I can't buy this because I've not done the right thing or I'm not at the right place. Like, I'm in the right building. Never mind, there's 12 vendors in here and I'm talking to the wrong one. Like, people are idiots, generally. Oh. Happy to see you. Oh. Nice. So yeah, it's like, I, I get that whole Q busting. I totally understand it. It's very frustrating when you are a legitimately intelligent person asking a legitimate question, but I do get it. They don't know that. They don't know you from a bar of soap, so. <laughs> uh, is fear an insider? No. We control their tenses to money muscle. Oh, interesting. Those two guess our ears are fucked. I have a feeling it's something to do with my jaw, honestly. Um, like I had, my jaw has always been really clicky and then it started getting really stiff before my first dental surgery. And then after my first dental surgery, it was screwed. I could barely open my mouth to speak. It was that painful. Um, and then I did some, you know, putting deep heat on it and heat pack and all this kind of stuff. And it sort of eased up a little bit. And then it got a bit worse again with the second surgery and now it's eased up again a little bit. But because all of that sort of in that same sort of region, I reckon the tense muscle there is screwing with my ears or that ear. And then this one's like trying to compensate or something. I don't know. Bodies are magnificent and wonderful and miraculous and also really fucking silly. So <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but I reckon it's connected. Um... I uh, woke up all excited about having a response and was like, ah, yep. I uh, work at IT support rule number one is the customer is lying. Yeah. Or a uh, pebcac problem exists between keyboard and chair. Like, it, yeah. And unfortunately, majority of the time, that is correct. But occasionally, you do have an issue like purses where it is an actual thing that is broken. My subjects seldom face a true challenge. You will try to provide them with one, won't you? Did I just get a, um... He popped? No, ah, oh, it must be... Why did- why was she talking to me? I must have zoned over a rare or something. That's right, let's go home. Actually, fuck at this, let's be lazy. I can so I will. Ah, uh, strange question. Do resto shamans use shields, or should I stick with the staff? But unintended. I'm not sure. Honestly, not too sure. I'm the wrong person to ask. But anyone else who plays a shaman in chat, uh, resto shaman specifically, shield? Question mark. We know you can. Question is, should you? Or is it one of those cases where just like equip best weapon you manage to get your hands on? Oftentimes they're not consciously lying, but still not telling the truth. Yeah, they're not trying to fudge it. They're just, they're omitting information or not looking in the right place or, yeah. Are you telling me my drawer is fucked too? Uh, no. I'm just telling you my personal medical history. <laughs> Nothing to do with yours. Whatever has better stats. I saw the clip when your drawer was sore and just scared you. Oh, it hurts. It, it like, it felt like someone had literally grabbed my drawer and tried like and ripped it open. It was so painful. Well, so unbelievably Stay painful. Sharp. You need me, you know where to find me. Try not to be too reckless. Hey, look! Paragon cage. You need me, you know where to find me. Attempt number six. 
Ah! Okay, hey, so. Uh, so that's Unshackled Paragon done. Enlightened! Finally, I'm actually going to work on Enlightened Rope. And then, oh, yeah, right? Exactly. I didn't want to, like, disappoint you like that. Good, I'm glad. Mm. <laughs> it was glorious. You were in so much pain. I was in so much pain. Mm. I wouldn't mind going through the dumb questions if it wasn't taking two plus days. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> It's a pity there's not like some kind of phone number that has a ridiculous wait time. Like they force you, even if there's no one in queue, they force you to sit there for two hours just to filter out the fake questions. And at the end of it, you get picked up by a person and you give them your ticket number and they actually look into it there and then. So if you if you can sit through the two hours of hold music, you get to have a person answer your question then and there. Ah, oh, wrong one, shit, damn it. At an eighth photo representing the user. Uh, either is fine. Take whichever is the highest eye level. They go. Thing being omitted is how I got 60 PvP kills in BFA zones a week. Liz doesn't need to know that part. <laughs> used to be a number, uh, but it's staying near impossible to reach them on the phone anymore. Yeah, I mean, they're going the way of most big companies where they don't want to have to pay calls into stuff. And honestly, fair. When all that information is available on the internet, the user can do it themselves, all that kind of stuff. Like, it's, yeah, it's understandable. It's extra money that doesn't really have to be spent. I probably did use sit queue for hours just to play. Yeah, look, exactly right, hey? Back in, um, back in BC, we had a guy in our raid team who would get home from work as raid was starting. And so, and because we we're on a really heavily populated server, he couldn't afford to uh, sit there. We all have our burdens to bear. Uh, he couldn't afford to sit there and wait for the login queue because he wouldn't get in until like an hour after raid had started or something. And so he had an auto jump macro. And he had a partner who worked different hours. And so uh, she would leave home a couple of hours before he got home. So she would log him in and turn on a macro that would auto jump him. every five. Once every five minutes, he would jump to keep him logged in so that he could get home, sit down and raid. I'm not gonna comment on whether or not this is okay to do regarding toss and things like that. Um, but it was a, a well-known fact amongst the guild <laughs> that they were there, but not available to talk until bang on raid start time. I know I got a response if it was an old content, but that's on me. Ah, that's still not, it's still not super fun though, you know? <clears throat> Yeah, this is how far behind I am. This is how much time I spend in uh, Zerath Waters. Hmm. Oh my god, Zam did more than one coin? Oh my lord. Well, some people could into RSC and aggro mob. You wouldn't die, but you wouldn't log out. <laughs> That's hilarious. still more than me. Good to know that I'm winning somewhere, Exo. Thank you very much for the uh, the vote of confidence. Oh, it's alright. You don't you don't need it. Like it's it's fine. Um like if I was if I was a super active like progression raider and all that kind of stuff, then maybe, but like I'm not. That's okay. I'm not and that's okay. Uh, but I do, do believe that this is my oh no that's my archivist codex bar. Where's my enlightened bar? I should probably turn that on. I'm actually, I'm not too bad. I'm at 8,000? Yeah, 8,110 out of 12k. So I need just under 4k more experience, uh, more re reputation. 
it could be worse, but it also could be better. <clears throat> so we're going to do these dailies. We'll knock out the world quests. Oh, this one's fun. I love this one. It's so much fun. This is like the lighting of the beacons in Maldraxxus. Except slightly more complicated. Oh well. Because of NA, the time long queue is like nine hours. Oof. Good lord. That myself though never. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Because we used to have maintenance all at the t all the time when I was ready because we played US time servers. Never get it during stream. Guess maintenance is at reasonable times for your servers. Maintenance is at 10 p.m. on Tuesdays. What do you see? I have never streamed WoW on a Tuesday. For that reason. In case there was an early shutdown or whatever needed to be done. Sorry, 10 p.m. or 1 a.m. I can never remember which one it is. But yeah, it's Tuesday night. Back when I streamed on Tuesdays, I always played a different game. Or usually it was crafting. It'd be a cross-stitch Tuesday stream. Because I'm a planner. And that's what I do. I plan ahead for that stuff. Professor Ram Riding Quest. Oh, that was so much fun. So much fun. If you were dwarves, it doesn't sound fun. Definitely not fun. Playing a low pop realm. What cues? Yeah, I played on Jubathos. Back in the beginning, I was on Jube. <clears throat> Actually, I reckon maybe we do these and then we'll go and grab those. So is that, is dailies and world quests the only way to get enlightened rep? Outside of like raids or anything like that. Do any of the treasures give rep or... I think the treasure chests do give rep, don't they? The enlightened are trying to study the creatures here, but are being overwhelmed. Could you help my brethren? I don't remember. Oh, turning in that quest, that daily didn't give me any enlightened rep. Unsettling. Is it only world quests? Rares give rep? Okay. Hmm. You must have avoided time as well. Long maintenance is a meh. Mm. Well, usually if it's a long maintenance, it'll be over before I get out of bed anyway. Hundred for the world boss, ten per rare, and plus twelve fifty for the weekly box. Yeah, I've done the weekly box. I've done the rare. Uh, I've done the world boss. Um, so just be rares and world quests then. 
Okay, that's fine. I just, I thought dailies would give you rep as well. That would make sense to me, but I guess not. You might also have to lift two mythic grade guilds. I mean, I'm not sure if there are any on, on the South End cluster. I mean, I'm sure there probably are, but I don't know what, who they are or anything. You've got only world quest, you've got only world quest. Yeah, that's silly. I don't like that. But they do give me ciphers and stuff, and I, I should get those because I do want the achievement for um, uh, doing the stuff and things. <clears throat> You're definitely so fast, as much as I know. Boss and I'm getting rep. Farming world bosses. How do you farm world bosses? You can only kill the world boss once a week per tune. Is farming the right word? Maybe that's a typo. I always usually go to at least three or four my time, halfway through my day, let other people do things on Tuesdays, of course. Of course. Yeah, I mean, if they, like, eight, an eight hour maintenance that starts at 10 p.m. finishes at 6 a.m. my time. If it starts at 1 a.m., then it finishes at 9 a.m. my time. So it's still not like, you know, it, yeah. Not that I'm usually playing at that time of the morning anyway, because I've got other shit that I need to do. I've got stream stuff. I check my emails. I check all my socials. I do all the stupid stuff or, you know, all the stuff that I signed up for, not realizing it would be this invasive. No, um, ah, part of, part of, you know, working towards full-time content creation, all that kind of stuff. But. Uh, yeah, so I, I do all that kind of businessy stuff in the morning. Um, so even if the servers came up um, in the afternoon, I'd still be pr mostly okay. Mostly okay. Uh, dailies don't. The in-game rationale is that they're given by free and etc. who aren't technically part of the Enlightened. That's true. Okay, I'll, I'll accept that. It still sucks, but I'll accept it. It makes sense, but I'm still unhappy about it. <laughs> Why are you glowing? I get a mount for doing all the ciphers, don't you? Probably not. Uh, but I'm also done myself. We, you do get a achievement. I don't know if there's a reward for the achievement though. Let's ask ATG. Oh, it's on everything mode. Crap. <laughs> um. Uh. You get a pattern for a mount by the looks of it. You get, so you don't get the mount, but you get the pattern to make the mount. So close. Close. What'd I get? Enemy detection range reduced by four yards. Can stack two times. Beautiful. Stealthy Madge. Anyway. <laughs> So you, yeah, you were very, very close there, shot. Very, very close. Every single time I get every one of my horde characters not at 60 to clean up my bags. So many gems doing Oni and Dragon's Ult. Yeah, I can imagine. Oof. I tend to clean out my bags on all my tunes like maybe once a week. Maybe. If they're lucky. If they're lucky. I didn't do that much time walking though. I only did it on a handful of tunes. I still got a few done and I bought everything from the BC time walking vendor. It has been cleared out. I'm finished with BC time walking as far as rewards go. Which is a very nice feeling. Uh, but yeah, I'm... um. It's, it's my goal for 2022 is, is year of the event. 
I want to clear out each, each event as it comes up. I want to be able to clear it out and get all the rewards and stuff. So I've done uh, like uh, freaking uh, what's it called? Lunar Festival is done. Noble Garden is done. Uh, Lovers in the Air is done, except for the Heartbreaker. But I mean, that's to me that, that that's acceptable. Um, but yeah, so like as each one, I'm keeping in like an eagle eye every month, checking the calendar to see what's coming up, uh, and doing some effort, doing some work on it. It's feeling pretty good, not gonna lie. <clears throat> Ah, uh, fear's a rogue now. Yep. Definitely still not a paladin. not work. Pokopok heals you for 50% of your health. It didn't work, but it went on cooldown. Is that a bug I should know about? Should I make your twins? Hello, Barry! Yes! Got my, uh... Where is it? This side. Naha! It's my Twitch robe. Very soft. Very snug. I was cold. <laughs> so today I was gonna do... Aim to do one level a day to try and get all my 50, 59, 60. One time walking got nearly 80% of a level from one. Decided, yeah, 30 more of these sounds fun. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Ugh. I I really honestly wish I had the time. I, I wish I had more time to be able to commit to grinding stuff out in WoW. There's so much I want to achieve and accomplish, but I, I just do not have the time. Um, so follow Fear on socials, help her get full time! Anyway, um, <laughs> look, I'm getting better at the shameless self, like, what the hell are you doing? I don't know, I'm nailing something into the floor. Um, I'm, I'm getting better at the, the shameless self promotion. Just, just a little bit better. Um, but I kind of have to. <laughs> ah, dear. Stealth indeed. Uh, very appeared indeed. Still does not work. Why? What is going on with the bot today? Super odd. I don't know what's going on. Um. The time just lack willpower. See, I I am exceptionally stubborn. If I set a goal, it will get done. It will just take me seven months. Um, which kind of frustrates me a bit. Um, but yeah. I feel like I'd be going a hell of a lot better with like my ATT percentage and stuff if I had the time. But I don't. Yeah, 23 minutes early, huh? What's wrong? Uh, We'll be here. I'm so confused. I don't have time to actually play well. This is not going to drink from the visions. I still can't manage it. I'm right now going to film a thing for Twitch. Oh no, Barry! Oh no. Is there someone you can borrow one from or something? <clears throat> 
but also that's awesome that you're filming a thing for Twitch. That's great. Like, that's super cool. Opportunities abound. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Understood. There we go. You were talking about the socials thing. Cool. I, I was, I had no idea what you were talking about. I was genuinely so confused. Oopsie, wrong button. Um, I think I'm gonna use my phone. Fair. Fair. Look, most phones have pretty, pretty bloody good cameras on them these days. <laughs> so she became a partner, is trying to go full time. Want to support for you? Follow on social media. Following is free and support streamers by expanding their reach. It's also a great opportunity to share her content with someone you think may enjoy it. Fia has just recently hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, which is a trigger for the algorithm, incre allowing increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. You can find all her profiles here. There's a link in chat or allmylinks.com forward slash Fiamma. Zalk, we go uh, V, Exo, Cat, Brick, Like, and Dark. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Opportunities hype, indeed. Indeed. Wait, do we not all do we all not have just have like five games? Not not when they're expensive, no. No, we do not. Um Yeah. Remember that we have the Australia tax. So like I mean, like convert the price and then just randomly add twenty to fifty dollars for the fun of it to the price. Yeah. Like, tech is really expensive here. <laughs> uh, it is unfortunate and problematic. Uh, have you ever done or attempted a 24-hour stream before? I have. Uh, I've done one and attempted a couple more, uh, but it's no longer a thing that I can do with my health. Um, it really harms me. Um, like, back when I did the first one, I, I mean, I was exhausted by the end of it, got a second win, got through it. Uh, it was a, a fundraising stream for Beyond Blue. Charity stream. Uh, it was great fun. I got, I got, it was towards the start of Legion, um, so I spent it funnily enough fishing. Uh, getting a whole lot of achievements and stuff. But, um, since then I've tried to do it a couple more times, and not only has it been impossible, like, I felt physically ill, um, towards the end of it, uh, so I had to turn the stream off because I just couldn't keep going. Uh, but it also, it took me, like, weeks to actually get back to feeling okay again afterwards, so it's not worth it to me. Um, I would much rather give you guys several weeks worth of solid, awesome content than try to give you one full day of content and have it screw me for those couple weeks. Uh, but I do still, like, we've done, like, 12 hour streams are kind of our standard marathon stream here. I think the, the longest I'd usually go would be, like, 16, maybe 18. I reckon I could push an 18 hour stream if it's a launch, like, if it's an expansion launch, because all of that hype and stuff keeps my body going. Uh, but if it's not one of those, yeah, no. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, no. Um... It is a limitation of me individually, but I'm okay with that. I think I've done pretty darn well with my limitations. Um, and yeah, I just gotta keep listening to my body and... You know, kind of try to do the best I can by it. Um... You have fewer cams than seven, are you even a streamer? Yes, don't gatekeep. Barry, he's joking. Like, as evidenced by the Kappa. Um, Zam very often makes incredulous statements that are intended 100% as a joke. But that is, it's not gatekeeping. Uh, New Zealand price as well, it seems. Yeah, New Zealand, you add another, another $10 on top of that. Because <laughs> you've got two oceans to go across. Uh, Oceania Taxi, yep. It's crazy. Five years ago, Amazon had their Prime Day and Logitech 920s were 40 bucks, so I bought three of them. Yeah, I I also can't afford to spend money on stuff that I don't actually need. Um, like, I, I, I can't justify spending money on, like, a backup for a backup. Um, but that's just me. Like, that's my personal situation, and that doesn't, you know, that's not that anyone who's doing that is wrong at all. That's just my own 
uh, personal situation. Uh, Zen making credulous statements in this economy. I know, right? It's ridiculous. Like, how, 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 how could they? How could they? How, no. Mm -mm. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, it's this one again. All right. This daily is, uh, sorry, World Quest is a, it's an interesting one. Creating fishing portals and then fishing them up to kill them. It's, it's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Still not sure if I like it. Time it triggers the Gun Sparrow. Goodness gracious. Ooh, and there's a nest as well. for me. Nothing. Good. All right. Pew! Seven games is easy. Left profile, right profile, face room, both monitor, third person, cat, bed, dog bed, and under desk. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, at least one of those will get you banned. Um. <laughs> nah, I, uh, I don't think that would, uh, what is they? Oh, they are on. Oh, they're on my pocket pock. You little bastard. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, you could absolutely figure out ways to use them, but I don't know. I don't think it'd bring anything extra to my content, really. Um, I don't have any pets. Uh, I, I can't have pets in this place, and on top of that, uh, I also can't afford to give an animal the quality of life that they deserve um, in terms of expenditure, again, with the broke thing. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, it's not something... I wouldn't want to get a pet unless I could provide uh, a, an above standard, uh, you know, quality of life for them. And I can't. Uh, so I don't. I can barely take care of myself. How am I supposed to take care of another creature? Uh, but yeah. So most of those cams are already out, but uh, some people have amazing setups with all these different angles and Oh, they, it's an, it's incredible how they managed to create this awesome content with all these, you know, professional what's its and stuff. I'm, I'm not good. No <laughs> I'm, I'm not good at that stuff, so I will, uh, yeah. Right, so now all I can do is rares, right? And because I've done the world boss, I've done oh. patterns within patterns, I've done all the world quests, so it's all just rares now. But a lot of them I'd take forever to spawn and mm, I don't know. Interesting. Mm. This economy. One for me, one for bandit, one for military shipping container goods. Third one did indeed show up broken. Oh no. Oh no. Fear is major faith class or just your main tune? Both. It is both. 
Uh, Tamagotchi camera. <laughs> I definitely feel the same. I have two squids, two dogs, two fish, and a turtle. Oh, good God. The turtle, like, just, yeah, that gets me. The husband does not count as he can care for himself. Yeah, and hopefully the husband also assists in taking care of the two squids, two dogs, two fish, and a turtle. To be clear for anyone who is not aware, the squids are not pets. The squids are children. Uh, <laughs> that is the word that Seeker uses to refer to her offspring. Um... <laughs> She does not, in fact, have an enormous swimming pool with actual live squids in it. Considering that you listed them alongside a bunch of other animals, I thought I might clarify. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Ah, uh, we've got the kidlets and a void cat. Beautiful. One day I'll get myself a void. One day. Oh, okay, no, I don't want that. Um, so I'm not going to bother doing the dailies because they don't do anything. Um, so what am I at now? 18, 495. Oh, 8, 4, That's like nothing! It's like 385 rep. Granted, I already killed the world boss and I've already done the, the weekly. So I guess next week... If I do this on the- if I don't do them prior to the Monday and I do that as part of my thing, then it'll look like more. That's still really uncomfortable. Ooh. Ooh and Ruby components. Beautiful. 70% into on. Let's go see if there's- uh, if I got enough ciphers to unlock something new. Probably not, but we can check. Um, it's cool, the Rickamon got super glued to a tripod as my dedicated cookie game. Oh, so the actual camera functioned. It was the bit, the bit on it that, okay. I thought like it didn't work good. All right, that at least makes it much, much better. Well, I did, okay, I can't unlock more things. Beautiful, well, one more thing, but anyway. Um, oh yes, especially the turtle, oh my God, can you imagine? It would be freaking brilliant. You could, you would have to show, like you'd have to post photos everywhere, 100%. Okay, that's enlightened, whoa. That's enlightened, done for the day. I can't get any more rep with them. Uh, so I'm gonna go to Torbarad. Which I have not done in a while. Is it this one? It is this one. Ah, disappointed. She doesn't actually have squids now. Fear, how are you on this fine evening? I'm doing very well, thank you, Krom. I hope you are doing well as well. And over here is my squid pool. Yep. Now banana babies. I'm sorry, you're what? Uh, what? <laughs> um. Oh, Barad Delis. Oh. Right, yes, I did have an upgrade, didn't I? Like, that cloak is a direct upgrade over what I was wearing before, so let's pop that on. Don't need to sim that! No. Ooh! Ooh, okay. Um, 15 minutes. I might run across the bridge and get those done before the battle happens. Loktar. Strength and honor. Uh, that'll be nice. Oh god, my, my cloak is so ugly compared to everything else. Oh no, I have to fix that. Um, and now I am too. Part that makes it sit on things. Bendy arm thing was snapped right off. Fair. I mean, not fair. That's silly. You should have got a refund or some some kind of reimbursement of some sort. I'm sure you probably did. But um, yeah, look, super glowing to try, but that works. Have you not seen dupes bananas? We have a banana tree with many babbies on it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I think I have seen photos of that, maybe. I feel like you should bring us all bananas when we meet up. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hmm. Maybe I'll have a second batch by October. I mean, now I'm thinking about banana cheese, so... That's a thing. <clears throat> mm. 
Unless we only help Stunner, of course. Oh, my quest log is full. God damn it. Is broken. Go with honor. <sighs> sub, sub. Strength. Okay. I need to go back and do bloody raids and get those raid. You know the whole like the skips, the skip quests. I need to go get them done. <laughs> so I can get them out of my log. Good lord. Um Using this, I got. I don't know. I am. You are correct. Hello, Resh. That's what. banana on cheese instead of apple. That's what it indeed. So can we go back to banana cheese? Yeah, sure. You have a question? And so let's throw all the useless pets at EXO instead of mouse. <laughs> I always get like literally tens of pets every time we do every time we do islands. Hundred <clears throat> percent, we can. I'm making his cheese. I'm so excited. I I cannot wait. Like I, I God, I love cheese. God, I love cheese. I can never again do rep grinds. Remember getting Chandra rep cheese also for the insane back when I was young and had spare time. I love rep grinds. They're one of the first things I do when we've got a new expansion. Like. I, I love getting them all up to, to max, but when I've got like the patches, when you get new reps in the patches, they always suffer. I never have enough time to do them because I go and experience the new zone and then I go back and try to keep finishing off the first bit of the expansion, like getting all the collectibles and stuff. So yeah, I um Yeah. That's why I like Enlightened, I'm so far behind, and, and Death's Advance, I'm behind, and yeah, it's a whole it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Um, my guild only did normal castle three times. So I've had three out of four sludge fists since I covered myself to abandon it with one more needed. But also I can't pug it. Well, we could get a group together, I'm sure. Go back and do achievements and stuff like for the meta that's the thing if you frame it as a as an achievement run rather than a normal run you get like a ton more people <laughs> they've since started doing islands again haven't at all since they added the solo queue I have loads of things still to get yeah i've been doing it off and on for a while uh because of the way i choose what mount to farm uh, because the island mounts were kind of high up on the list for a while there and then the data would update and they'd get shuffled down and then I'd cross more off and they'd come up again and then I'd do it more and then it'd refresh and it'd drop down. It, it's, yeah, it's a whole thing. It's a cycle. But I do kind of like that cycle because it means that I'm not stuck farming the same stuff for months on end, which can really kind of smack your morale around a bit. Uh, I mean, plenty of time left to get all this expansion though, so don't run, you know, rush. Your vow should be done that rep early 2024. Oh god. I reckon if something comes up, because I know that isn't there an avowed mount 
if that comes up on my bloody list, we are putting together a goddamn team and we're just going to farm it because I... Mm, nah. That's a good idea. I tried to pug normal. It just didn't happen. Yeah, frame it as an achievement run. Uh, and that way you can put it in Perky Pugs as well. And you'll get a ton of people looking for an achievement run. And you can put it in the Warcraft achievements. Discord 2. Yeah, if you frame it as an achievement run, you will 100% get more people. You may not get it all in one week. You might have to split it over, like, the same time slot over a couple of different weeks, extending the lockout or whatever. But, like... Oh well, you know, like I, I still reckon that's, yeah. Cute little voodoo floating mask things, NPC protecting this area. That's cute. You're gonna love the stuck in combat bug. Oh, I am honestly so thankful that I play a mage. Invis for the win. For the win. Zobar ruins. Ah, a gargan. Yeah, I need that gargan. I hope Crush one to finish covered amounts. Where, I wonder what page that's on in my list of stuff to get. Where's DFA? What is it? What's the Gargan from the Avowed called? I wonder what page it's on. Out of my 217. Ooh. Oh, not bad. Uh, have you got your rarity to shop on the screen like that where you can choose specific ones to keep note of? You click it. Like, literally, click. Click. Um, but it doesn't, it's not, I mean, you can then, like, if you click on one, you can focus on that one. Um, but if you kill something that has the ability to drop something, it'll auto-focus to that one. Inquisitor's Gar- Inquisition Gargan, okay. Um, Inquis- so it's less than, it's less than 1%, so it's gonna be a while till we have to do it. Um, it's not on the final page. There it is, it's on the second last page. So, it's 161 to 200, so 161, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 174th on the list out of 217. It's gonna be a while. That's gonna be like next expansion, if that, like, good lord. Right. Where the hell is problem? <laughs> I need to kill him in like four minutes. around does he go? Never remember. Surely I'm moving faster than he is though. Um, man you currently farming? Ah, uh, this, uh, mm, good question. What's it called? Spectral Wolf. Spectral Wolf. Uh, it's from Tolbarad. You've got to be exalted. And then it costs 165, question mark. Uh, Tolbarad commendations. And the commendations are the bits that you get from doing the dailies. Um, they give, some of them, most of them give one. <laughs> one commendation per, world, per daily. So it takes a bit. It's on the list, and once it's got, I don't have to do it again. I mean, there are other bits and pieces I still need with the commendations, like toys and stuff, but I'll get there when I get there. I'll get there when I bloody get there. Problem! I'm going the wrong way. This is the direction that is, yep. Yeah. That's right, still have three minutes to go.
So I did these real quick because of the next battle timer, so I still have to go back to the other, to the peninsula and do um the other ones. Go forth to victory. Go forth to victory. I'm actually getting close. I got 153. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Getting awful close, you are. Uh, hello, Path. What's a good GPU CPU to get for a PC? Uh, that is entirely too broad a question. That's going to really heavily depend on what your budget is, what you're looking to do, what chipset you're using. Like, that's a that's a super broad question, unfortunately. Um, if you're able to give like a hell of a lot more detail, um, there might be a few people in chat who'll be able to help you with that. I'm not too sure. I don't tend to look at what's current and what's good until I actually sit down to buy myself something. Uh, and it's been a while since I've done that. It's been about three years since I rebuilt my PC and I'm not looking to do it again anytime soon because I'm flat broke. Um, so I'm not going to be able to help you with that question, but if you're able to give some more specifics about exactly what you're looking for, what your budget is, all that kind of stuff, um, then you might be able to find someone in chat can help you out. But yeah, that's, um, that's not enough info. Get a seven. <laughs> the Albatross, yay, XO, well done. Hello, Boot, welcome back. What flavor is it? Oh dear. Oh dear. Seeker, can I offer you a crisp high five for like how welcoming you are when people come in chat and stuff, especially when I'm like massively behind? It's just, it brings a real smile to my face, honestly. <laughs> Uh, be right back, Mars time. Totally fine. Enjoy, have fun. Jeez, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Alrighty. Let's do some dailies. I wonder, can I get eight? Am I gonna get seven commendations from these bloody quests? Am I gonna yell very loudly? Well, no, there are eight quests, so I should be able to buy them out today. I think? Wait, no, it was 153. No, I still need 13. Sorry, okay, I'm wrong. Never mind. I was thinking it was 157. I think I was thinking I had three more to hit 160 rather than I was three into 50. Look, brains are magnificent things, but they're also really bad sometimes. <laughs> but I'm gonna be awful close. I'm gonna be one more week of dailies away from getting this bloody mount. One, sorry, one more day, but I don't do them during the week because I don't have time. So next Mount Farm Monday, maybe I should push this to the top of the list because I'm so close just to cross it off. I think I might do that. Because otherwise, if if I am doing Covenant Assaults across every level 60 I have and getting the Uzi Necro Ray Egg across all my... I'm never going to make it down this low on the list again. So I think if I am that close, I'm going to push it up the list. Uh, Totes made the right call in the new mod. I reckon so. I reckon so. You ever know you need to go back to bed, so you log out. Instead of getting up and going to bed, you just log into another tune. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Lord. Yes. <laughs> yes. Who is the new mod? You are! <laughs> I was thinking, oh, very cool. Who's new? No. I'm, like... I do not bring on mods often at all. Like, it's, yeah, I am very, very particular about moderation and stuff like that. So it's very rare that I kind of bring new people on. Uh, I think part of that might be because, like, I, I am a control freak. Like, it's it's a thing. Um, like, getting Jazz to do some of the socials for me and stuff has been... Uh, like, it's it's been a lesson in, like, learning to let go kind of thing. I'm very bad at delegation. Um, so, 
yeah, but then also, you know, like, what if they don't get what I'm going for? And what if they don't get my vibe? And all that kind of, it just, all it takes is one person doing one thing that's not quite right to completely, like, make a vibe, of, like, make the vibe of a stream totally wonky and stuff. So it, it's, it's just, it's, <laughs> But that's why, like, I know, obviously, Seeky, you've been around for quite some time and you were doing a whole lot of stuff of your own accord that I'd kind of sort of, not not expect, but that I'd hope mods would do as well. And so I'm like, yeah, you know what? I reckon this is a good call. And I am, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident in that. But still, obviously, it's only been a couple of weeks. So we'll give you some time to make sure, you know, now that you've started to see some of the stuff that I cop, occasionally um make sure that you're okay with seeing that with the regularity it comes up and all that kind of thing because you know it's not it's definitely not for everyone uh definitely not for everyone no one should have to see that but people are idiots so <sighs> my duffer big day duffer haven't heard that in years really Really? Silly Duffer. Seeker sounds like an absolute legend. Seeker is a legend. Seeker is uh, our newest mod. She's only been moderating for a few weeks and it's it's been great. I think it's been a few weeks. Look, time time is moving weirdly at the moment, but um yeah, it's good. It's been really good. Sounds like Seeker's an absolute legend. What's that for you? Chot is literally here from today, dude. <laughs> Chot is very, very new. Doesn't know any of the regulars yet. We will cut them some slack. Seeky is a legend. Agreed. Agreed. I'm like, can, I'm so excited to meet a whole bunch of you at PAX Australia as well. Like, I'm so looking forward to it. I hope that we can manage to get like a, a small group of people together for lunch on the lawn and just kind of sit and eat and chat and look, it'll be nice. I'm really looking forward to it. It's my first time. I'm sorry. Totally okay, shot. Most of what they say is in jest. It's all good. All good. Time has been weird since 2020. Agreed. Agreed. I was wondering about that. How many regulars would there would be there? I don't know. So like, obviously, PAX. If you're not living in Melbourne, PAX is quite an expensive thing. Um, so I mean, like, each individual part is not too expensive. I mean, convention tickets are usually expensive anyway. But then if you're looking at flights, and then you've got accommodation, and then you've got spending money, and you've got things like food and all that kind of thing, it does add up pretty quickly. Um, and not, obviously not everyone has that money, especially after the last couple of years we've had. Um, beyond that, it is scaled down, so not as many tickets are being sold. Beyond that, a lot of people won't feel comfortable traveling or going to a convention hall with a bunch of people and stuff. Again, it's a pandemic. So yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure. We might at some point drop a thing in Discord just to kind of get an idea of how many people are attending, but it's not gonna be like a reservation style. Like I, in the past, I've actually booked restaurants at like had a table for X number of people. I'm not doing it. It's it's way too stressful having numbers change continuously right up until 10 minutes before we're supposed to be meeting for dinner. Like, oh, I can actually make it now. My And it's like, well, there's no seat for you, fuck off. Like <laughs> it's too much. So nope, not doing it. Um, but what I can do is say, I'm going to be at this place at this time and I'm going to eat food. Join me if you wish. Uh, I think that's what we'll stick with. Uh, so yeah, I think that'll just be easier on everyone. And that way there's no, you know, managing dietaries. There's no managing accessibility. It's, you know, we can find somewhere and, and sit down, um, and, and just kind of, yeah, be, be chill. Be nice. Uh, and it will be out on the lawn outside of the convention center. So if you are in Melbourne but couldn't afford to go to PAX, like if you couldn't afford a ticket, um, you won't need a ticket to get to where we're eating. Um, you'll be able to just swing by at the uh, noted time and, and join us for some food if that. So that's, again, trying to include as many people as possible, you know. Um, yeah, it'll be good fun. I mean, I'm, it's probably not going to be like a three or four hour sit down. Uh, it is packs. I'll have stuff to do, panels to go to, and, and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it'll be nice to at least meet some people. And I am looking at a supplier to have uh, 
potentially fridge magnets, potentially stickers, and potentially badges done up. That was why I asked in sub chat in Discord uh, a couple days ago about people's favorite emotes and stuff. Um, I'm trying to fit because we've got a lot of emotes now. We have a lot of them now, and uh, I can't afford to make up, you know, 50 of every emote. It'll cost me literally thousands of dollars. Um, so I'm trying to pick out a couple. There, there will be the bird, like the, the logo will be one of them. Um, but I'm also trying to pick out a couple of emotes to put on, um, potentially stickers, badges, and, and magnets. Um, I'm not intending to sell them. It's, it is definitely intended to, like, just hand out randomly and stuff, but, um, it, it is gonna cost me a little bit, but, I, you know, it's... It's a nice thing, and I would like to do it. So yeah, we'll just we'll see how we go. Um, and hopefully, hopefully I'll get enough of them that I'll have some left over, so that if people are willing to like pay postage, um, I can ship them to those who are unable to make it to PAX for whatever reason. Because obviously, international travel is also bloody expensive. Um, because they'll be small enough that they should fit in a, um, a standard thing. But look, we'll see how we go. Step by step. Baby steps. Um. It's very American as a good lord. It's 2022 already. I know. Not only that, but it's fucking May. It's May and there isn't a general drive. It's kind of the vibe. It just made you feel uncomfortable. Sorry not to pack to stream. Huh? Oh, as in how many regulars uh, attend, like, come to stream? I, I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, I used to, it used to do a thing in, um, uh, the chatbot where if you had watched, if you'd been in chat for 10 hours or more, then it would put you as a, like, a regular status. Um, but that's, like, nowadays, that's only, like, not even two streams. So... Yeah, it's kind of... I'm not really sure exactly how many we'd have. Um, actually, if I open up currency, I can sort by hours, I'm pretty sure. How many hours watched would you consider a regular? I can't tell you if they've been here lately, but I can kind of... Oh, actually, can I? I don't know. Oh, and those hours are. Oh, right, because it, when I when I did the name change. Yeah, when we did the name change, it screwed up all that. That's right. But yeah, it's a um. It's certainly an interesting thing. Oh, I'll tease a little. No need to apologize. I'd like to tease good fun in here. Absolutely. I'm gonna start a spreadsheet. <laughs> Not uncomfortable or anything. Fantastic. But yeah, how would you? What would? How would you define a regular? And there are no wrong. There are no wrong answers here. Um, but how would you define a regular? Um. Okay, that's why outside on the grass is a great idea. Yeah, it takes all the pressure off everyone. Yeah, absolutely. You can grab whatever food you want to, or you can bring a packed lunch if you need to, um, and come sit out on the grass and have some, have some... And it's not, like, deep grass or anything like that. Um, it's quite... It's usually kept quite, like, short. Um, so... And we can... Ob obviously, we can find somewhere near to a path as well if we have accessibility requirements where grass is not okay. Um, like, there's a whole... Yeah... We can we can absolutely sort of work around stuff if need be. Get one of you lot to keep an eye on Discord for people pinging and saying, "Where are you? I can't find you." So I can just focus on eating. <laughs> right. So I ended up with what? One hundred and sixty-one. One hundred and sixty-one badges. All right. Alliance is attacking. Maybe I can go over there. And, um, can you get commendations by participating in the battle? <laughs> mm. Live people can walk away feeling... Yep, mm hmm Okay, bye! Thanks, nice to meet you, bye! Yep, exactly. Really nice plan, though. I reckon. I reckon. 
Just make sure you put sunscreen on you. I know it's cold as hell in October in Melbourne, but please wear your sunscreen. <clears throat> um, just looking through maps. Is it to the north of the center? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Badges. What sort of badges? Like uh, 25 oh, mil the little like, buttons. Not enamel badges. I, ca I can't afford enamel badges, unfortunately. Um, uh, one day I would love to be able to do that, but unfortunately, yeah. 25. Just for a tower. I can't do any of this because I'm attacking, not defending, and these aren't deployed. Um... Some other thing we'll have to try to set up one day is get a team of ally and a team of horde into places like this and, and earn ourselves the achievements. Um, thankfully, international envelopes really reasonable compared to packages. Absolutely, yeah. Packages, uh, minimum shipping is $9.40, I believe, for Australia Post. Uh, that's, of course, Australian dollars as well. Uh, and that's for your, like, your teeny tiny, really thin kind of package dealies. Um, but letters... Letters are different, like envelopes are different. Um, yeah, what do you reckon folks? Five or six a week. A regular make. Screen. Ah, oh, we on that. Oops. Right. Good. <sighs> Goodness gracious. I swear to God. No, wait, hang on. Shit. We're going to have to start this early. Place your units, we're gonna have to start this early. I'm so sorry, you guys. I, I'm just, I feel like I'm not functional today, honestly. <laughs> I, I really need some like hardcore sleep. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, personally, regularly, someone I see at least once a week. Just hit the thing and close the window, let's kill some lines. <laughs> Saying anyone who chats a bit comes back most days over a few months. Are we going to be with the meetup? Absolutely. I uh, kind of regular someone who makes a handful of streams a week or something like that, sometimes social. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like, people who are lurkers could also be here regularly. Like, oh, you mother. So I had 161. For a, for a win, you get three. I'm sitting on 164 Oberard Commendations. I need 165. There's no other way for me to get a commendation, is there? Get them from the raid? Ooh, good question. I'm jumping onto Wowhead to see Currency rewarded for completing daily quests in Tolbarad and for victories in Tolbarad battles. Baradins, Wardens, and Hellscreams reach each of the player's randomly selected sets of daily quests. A diligent player can complete up to 18 dailies each day. Set of six dailies are available on Tolbarad Peninsula, which features faction-specific quest hubs accessible at all times, regardless of Tolbarad control. These six dailies are randomly selected from a large pool of quests. No, they're not. They don't rotate. They're broken. Uh, additional selection of six dailies is available inside Tolbarad itself, which can be accessed and completed by the faction which controls the zone. If your faction controls the zone, you will always be able to access a huge problem, Swamp Bait and the Leftovers. Other three quests will send you to one of the following three underground uh, locations in Tolbarad, D-Block, Cursed Depths, and The Hole. Complete these quests quickly, as only one of these locations remains open between battles. Eventually, you'll complete enough quests, enough dailies to earn the achievement. Just another day in Tolbarad. You can earn, which I don't have because of its broken, because of the brokenness, earn additional accommodations through the weekly quest victory in Tolbarad. Where do I get that? Oh, fuck me! I didn't pick it up from home base. 
God damn it, that's an hour away. I can't stream for another hour. I hate myself. I, I would have completed it too. I hate myself. After another battle, there'll be three new random, but there aren't. It didn't rotate, so obviously these quests don't rotate either. They they've broken the whole thing, so nothing. So that's supposed to have rotated, and we'd have a new NPC up with n another set of three quests because the battles happened, but it didn't because the whole bloody place is broken. It has been for expansions now as well. Um. Ah, oh, damn it. It's always tomorrow. Yeah, but it's not Mount Farm Monday tomorrow, and I'm not streaming tomorrow. She made another mount. Which one of my priests is my main in Kata? <sighs> she said a moment when I'm done daily as an area, I have 200 rep left to exalt. Ah, I know the feeling, Chad. It's so bad. So bad. Um, But no, it doesn't look like I can get them from the raid, unfortunately. So glad I'm done with talk recommendations. Those were some BS. Yeah, I still have. So there's the Tabard. And the staff and the and that's just on mage. What, what about if I? Yeah, so there's a few other bits and pieces I need, um, but some of them share appearances and stuff. So that's uh, that's the thing at least. But um, yeah, it's just the wolf I'm trying to get now. Um, it go pretty well. I made it through stream. <laughs> Uh, I don't think even those last two have been off all street. Yeah, I am just oh Rango because that when migraines. Oh I can imagine. Imagine. Shot. Ah, got you. Yeah, I thought you meant me as well, and I'm like, no. First rotate each day. That's odd. It says on here, like the the stuff on Wowhead says that it rotates after each battle. Um because I'm talking about the ones in here, not the ones that are on the peninsula. Like, I'm not, not, th these ones rotate daily, yes, but the ones on the actual, like, the PvP island are supposed to rotate after each battle. Um, but the, the ones on the island, the, the ones on the peninsula don't rotate at all anymore anyway. They're broken. They have been for literally expansions now, uh, years and years. So, yeah, it's just, um, everything's a little wonky. Uh, do completions where I need to get all the tenant sources of experience. only care about what my main shaman can get. Yeah. Yeah, no, I do, I do, um, not completionist mode, uh, because, no thank you, but I also do 12 classes, so it's still a big job. I'm sure they used to remember how mad I'd get if I didn't turn them in on time. Yeah, yeah. It's the whole, the whole zone, both the zones are broken. They have been for a long ass time. A really long time. That's okay, I'm one short, so I'm gonna <laughs> move this up my list and do it first thing, uh, next Mount Farm Monday. So that I can get my mount. Uh, Stitch and Stone Crusher. Is that the gatekeeper? That I've already done. Wait, have things shuffled again? Wait. Do I already have it? No. No, I don't. Wait. Yeah, it's this. Okay, yeah, so that's the. I've already done that one. Why is that on the list? Where? Why is that on my list? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be on my list. It's super strange. Right, um, well, the next thing 
on my list is Death's Advance Paragon. And I'm not even exalted with them, so let's go back to Gorthia. God damn. Altaholics, indeed. I'm exalted only nine commendations. Uh oh. Is that right? Battle quest rotate according to which faction hold the fort. Yeah, but th that's the thing. Even if the horde had it, and then the horde wins the next battle, and it's still horde, it's still supposed to rotate, but it doesn't because none of them do anymore. Because the whole place is broken. But yeah, whatever. Draw a different character. Mm. Figure out which tune has the most commendations and go with that one. Mm. Mm -hmm. The Spectral Wolf is really cool. I, I quite like it. Um, not my favorite, but it is very cool. I'm so glad you got it. Congratulations. Well done. I'll have it next week. I get my last bloody commendation. It'll be wonderful. I'm the most character I don't play anymore, really. Fair enough. Hmm. Hmm. We got a skin seeker. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Um... Is yours. There is much to you. <clears throat> How may I assist you? I answer the call. Asty big pointy teeth. <laughs> Love it. Your envy is palpable. Someone finally killed Crooken, Crookle, whatever the fuck his name is. Spawned a towering exterminator. Amazing. Oh no. <laughs> I got a perplexing rune cube. Hmm. 15 shoes, level 10. Hey, fantastic, dude. Congratulations. Oopsie. Oh, for God's sake! Get away from it. Some character in this one. Greetings, sir. Mm. Or ma'am. This is anything. He went down quickly. Ah, uh, there were a lot of people here, and he was already quite low. Um, I just managed to get here at a time. So, yeah. But lucky. All the shiny things. I like shiny things. In the Discord. In the Discord? Chosen Melvin. Sorry, I'm giggling. I'm reading mod chat, Seiko. Yep. And I I appreciate the the seriousness with, the seriousness with which you take this. I, I really, truly do. It's, it's amazing and awesome. But yeah, you don't have to because it does it for you. Yep. <laughs> Isn't it great when things are automated? It's awesome. Love it. So good. So good. All right. Is it a creative channel? Ooh. That looks like a bunch of unrelated things stuck together to make a, like an art piece. It doesn't look like it's actually functional, but now that I've said that it probably is and I'm being very rude. Um, 
It's a badge machine. Oh, cool. So you like, you press, okay, good. I actually, I don't think it's, I think I've got it in the, cause I've got stuff in the storage cage now, but I have, uh, there's a website called Jacko Bindi uh, that do buttons. So you can go and buy fabric and make your own badges and buttons that you can then use using there. And it's got like a little plastic thing and a little pressy cap and you put your fabric in and then you put your metal bit and then you fold the fabric over and then you put the flat plate back and then you push it all in and it goes thunk and it makes a little badge. So I used to do it with my cross stitch things. I'd use cross stitch little tiny things and then turn them into badges. Um, uh, but it was very manual. It was not like that. <laughs> it was not like that. It was with my fingers. And I always used to hurt my thumb because I'd press down like that, which would bend my thumb funny and it would hurt. Um, but yeah, I'm... Yes. <laughs> That's super cool. Uh, That's why I asked you what sort of badges she was getting. Yeah, I was looking at a place. So it basically, it's like... It, it's kind of like printed metal, um, so my, my design gets printed onto the, the curved bit and then, yeah, the badge on the back and stuff. Um, it might be too much effort for, like, it might take, because they do it with big machines and all that kind of stuff and they do it pretty cheap, um, it might end up being more effort than it's worth for you guys to do them manually, but it's a super cute idea. That's adorable. It's a really funky looking little machine too. Um, I was checking out the TB achievements and told me I've only ever completed four battles. That's not right. Yeah. I, th I feel like there was, because it says for me that was my sixth battle completed. That's wrong. Uh, I feel like at some point progress at all those achievements was wiped. Uh, so if you didn't have them, you didn't get to have them, if that makes sense. Because I did so many dailies and stuff like that. I don't know how it's not possible that I didn't, I don't know how it's possible that I didn't have that daily, like do all the dailies achievement, but um, yeah, I feel like at some point progress was wiped. Uh, like, probably accidentally, you know, as part of a patch or an update, and they kind of went, ah, crap, and didn't have the the ability or the the information to, um, uh, to, to restore the progress or something. I, I don't know. Again, I don't have any insider information. This is all just speculation, but uh, Croak. His name is Croak. Good. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I feel the same way. It's a bit upsetting. Especially considering that the dailies don't rotate and they don't seem to have any intention of fixing that because, I mean, it's such old content, you know? But it, it'd be really nice. I feel like maybe we need to get to, like, get a, a forum thread together where every single day we report what dailies are available and then just keep updating it every day until they fix it. Um, but even then, I don't think that they'll actually care, unless we have literally hundreds of people doing it. Uh, don't you advise the lesson for you? Imagine she was getting, appreciate my particular brand of cray cray. I appreciate your brand of cray cray because it's my brand, Seeker. <laughs> like, it's, we share the brand. Um, not automated to the level I would need. Um, have you looked into, like, so if you click on somebody's name, obviously you can see every, um, everything that they've ever said and how many messages they've sent. You can also see how many timeouts and bans they've had, but there's also a section for mod notes. Um, and you can, you don't just have to click a name to bring that up. You can type slash user and then pop the username in and it'll bring that same thing up without you having to click it. Um, so, for example, if if Jas or Sheebs saw that somebody had been banned and they're like, oh my god, what the hell happened here? They could grab the name out of the mod logs, type slash user and paste the name in, and they'll be able to see what they said, who banned them, all that kind of stuff. So all that information is already there, which is really super useful. And so if you wanted to keep notes for your own sanity, you can do it on their user page. You can jump into that mod notes tab and pop in whatever notes you'd like. Like, it's there for you to use. Those those are mod tools and you're a mod, so you can absolutely use them. I have mod notes. You type slash user Fiyama and have a look and I have mod notes. Courtesy of you know who. <laughs> uh, yes. Obviously, like, I mean, you may already know all of this, 
but um, it is like, you know, again, you're pretty new to all this, so this is this might all be stuff that's like, what? Um, but yeah, you learn as you go. It's brilliant. I don't want to overload you all at the start though, obviously. Just saw tickets open packs. I was 2022. I think I go. Oh, they've been on sale for, oh gosh, about a month now, maybe. Maybe, oh, no, maybe not quite a month. I don't know. Time is wonky. But yeah, they've they've been on sale for a while. Um, are the three-day tickets not sold out yet? Because a couple of days ago, they were sitting at 95% sold out. That's really interesting. Uh, always next year. Absolutely. There is a Discord too, which has some interesting stuff. Yeah, PAX has a Discord. Um, for the last couple of years, they've run the entirety of PAX through Twitch channels and their Discord. Um, it was interesting, but it wasn't enough to kind of keep me engaged personally. Um, I'm too much of a lurker to do that kind of stuff. I need to go and see things myself. Yeah, I haven't sent you those looms now. Oh, that's totally fine, dude. Totally fine. Ah, uh, gotcha. Part of very annoying void cat. <laughs> adorable. Adorable void cat. Uh, and loom in the background. Yeah, beautiful loom. Absolutely gorgeous. At some point in cat I switched servers, couldn't afford a server transfer, so I started fresh. Ah, uh, I guess my current priest I need to check. Fair enough. Well, fingers crossed for you, purse. Fingers crossed. I had a good look around. I was thinking more the notes on what I have said when I've reported. But yes, that is a great way to Well, yeah, I mean, if you've reported them, you can, like, before you hit go, copy and paste it, or even take a screen snip and then type it into the mod notes, you know, and, and note reported, blah, 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 blah. I'm totally happy for you to do that, 100%. Because what, what then happens is, like, if I get an unban request, then I can jump into the user page and I can see what happened and why and, um, and make a decision. Usually the decision is no, but sometimes the decision might be yes. You know, you never know. Like, sometimes it might be clearly, you know, they might have been having a really bad day and snapped in a way that was un inappropriate. Uh, and their apology seems sincere and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've not yet had a single unban request that um, that I have accepted. Every single one of them has been declined so far. Um, one of them <laughs> basically reiterated what they had said to get themselves banned. Like they had, they had called me some kind of insulting name and their unban request was essentially unban me you slut. And I'm like, no, <laughs> like no. Yeah, look, people are, people are entertaining. I have the option for unban requests there because I know, like there have been days that I'm not my best human, for sure. And I've, I've done and said things that I, I've felt exceptionally bad about later. And you know, maybe people have felt the same way and they, you know, decide that they want to come back and apologize or something because they've, they've, you know, consumed more content and have realized that it was, you know, they, they lash out in a bad way or something, but like, uh, yeah, I'm yet to have one of those. Yet to have one of those. But doesn't mean it can't happen in future. Um. I saw yours, yeah. First thing I checked was if I had any wanted to know what hilarious things might have been there. There was none that I was disappointed. Yeah, look, we don't, honestly, we don't use the mod notes very much. Every time I bring it up, we end up having a few of them stuck to people because it's hilarious and funny and all that. Usually it's mods, like current mods, you know, stick them on each other and stuff. But, um, yeah, it's not something we use super muchly because we communicate so effectively through Discord, I think. We don't necessarily need those ones there, but they are definitely useful to have. Um... But it's usually pretty damn obvious why someone has been banned judging, like, just by reading their messages that they've sent. Um, we're not really a stream that proactively bans people. There are, there are lists out there of usernames that people believe should be banned in all servers because of stuff that they've done and said and blah 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 blah. Um, so I could go through and, like, find one of those lists and ban all those people and then make mod notes. This person has never been here, but they've been banned for behaviour here, there and everywhere. But that's a lot of effort, honestly. <laughs> it's a lot of effort for someone who may or may not ever step foot here or know I exist or whatever. So it just, yeah, I tend to be more reactive with that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun little thing. 
if you know it's definitely one kind of one kind of the word um uh, does it show when we first commented in chat yes however not as like a not as a thing that's right there you'd have to go you'd have to scroll and scroll and scroll. for especially for people who were really active in chat you'd need to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll for eternity we did it for lambo um to see when when they first said when he first said something in chat um <laughs> it it took a while it took a while um so it's not something i do because of that but it, it's definitely possible um it's just not easy it's not a conveniently you know first said blah kind of dealy hello fight welcome back is that something we can ask the mods to find out the mods can find out for you yeah but it, it involves a fair bit of effort um i took screenshots in before god for your chat beautiful amazing seeker look at you go look at you go hello welcome yes absolutely as if that'd work Oh, the, the unban request? Yeah, look, I mean, people are very silly. <laughs> like, like I, I did say earlier, um, you know, ha look at look at a person of average intelligence and understand that half of humanity is less intelligent than that. Um, yeah, it's... <sighs> yeah, I, like, for, for the most part, people who say that kind of stuff they're not actually genuinely trying to get unbanned. It's they've got another opportunity to try to make me feel like poop. And so they're going to take it because that's the only way they can find joy in their lives, which honestly is it's really upsetting. That's really sad. Um, so, yeah, it, it doesn't bother me, really. Um, I'm I, I may not be supremely happy and and all that kind of stuff in my life you know i've got a fair few bits and pieces going on that are like in the the back end and in the, in the background that are not super awesome and that i have to deal with on a daily basis but i am happy enough that i don't have to rely on trying to make other people feel bad in order to lift myself up and for that i am thankful My life could be a whole lot worse. I just you all get banned and ask for an unban so politely. The problem is you can't put an unban request in for like a month. Um, I used to have it set to a year, but uh, I dropped it down to a month because I feel like a month is you know reasonable for people to chill out and get through whatever they're getting through and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, if we banned you, you wouldn't be able to put that request in for a month, and. Um, I don't want to, I don't want you to not be here for a month, because that'd be sad. You know, that'd, that'd suck. Even though you're just, even though you've just got here, you're already a valuable member of the community, and, and we would, we would hate to lose you for a month. That'd suck. Don't do it. So I'm coming the other day, one in 14 people are normal. I'd be interested to see what their definition of normal is in that way. That'd be kind of funky. We're doing interrogators, okay. Gosh, there are so many people here now. There weren't before. Holy goodness. Ooh, just. Um. Uh, scroll. There we go. Um, is that a word? Doubling down doesn't seem like the best way out of a ban. Bold strategy card. Let's see if it pays off. It does not. Spoilers. Ah ha ha. Got one a while back. Seemed innocent enough. Mod sent me the clip of when the guy got banned. And in context, it was like, oh no, that made sense. Oh dear. Yeah, those are the worst. It's like, oh, I'm just, I'm being, but I'm being so polite. It's like, ah uh, no, no, you are not. You are being underhanded and gross and creepy. Stop it. Yeah, I hate that. It's the worst. Uh, people are mean. People are mean, Lawrence. People are mean, but not all people. There are some incredibly amazing, awesome people out there. We've just got to do our best to find them. Or attract them to us. 
by being awesome and kind ourselves. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Put it out there and it will come back to you. Uh, but lots of people are so lovely. Absolutely. Don't be too disheartened. You just feel a bit. Okay, so that's where I, I jumped that section of chat. Good, let's do it. Don't do it. Uh, we like having you here indeed. Found it refreshing. It is a nice thing to think about, hey. I'm one of the 13 out of 14. Brilliant. Could be worse. Right, okay. Um. And no, I'm touched. Yay! Yay. Yeah, look, it doesn't it doesn't take long for us to like adopt new people. Like <laughs> it, it really doesn't take as long. That's why when I was asking before about the definition of a regular, because it's um it, it's a little it's a bit <laughs> a little bit blurry of a line here. I'm one, which means 13. If you were stopped! Oh check the other priest doesn't have it either. Don't do stuff a different class in Kata. What is happening? It's the uh, the unfortunate thing is like when you're checking your currency and stuff like that, um, like that you get. That's just my horde tunes. Like it can't also check my like like uh, altholic can't check my is that altholic? I don't know what it is, but whatever whichever add on it is, it can't check my alliance tunes at the same time. It's just like one server at a time sort of thing, and I I not sure how many servers you're spread across. Purse, I can't remember, but I can only imagine it's a couple. <laughs> it's definitely not normal. It's like a comment, like, I like most other people don't like the word normal. There's such a strong, strong statement. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Look, I I don't mind the word normal. Um I I recognize that like normal is not really it normal is not common. I, I get that. And so I think, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't mind the word normal. As long as it's not something that I'm aspiring to, I think it's fine. There are parts of my life that I aspire to be, to have be normal. Uh, and there are other parts of my life that I aspire to have be not normal. Like, you know, content creation as a job is not normal. Very, very, very few people are able to do this as a job, as a, as a full-time career. Very few people. It's not normal. It's a very new type of, of industry and, and role and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm aspiring to it. But at the same time, I also would like to be able to have days off. I feel like it is a normal thing to not work 24-7, or it should be. Uh, and that is something that I would aspire to. You know what I mean? So it's it's kind of... I think it really depends on how you internalize the word. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, what's normal? Different depending on your context. Little non neurotypical brain is definitely different. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is the thing, though, because, like... I, I have cyclothymic disorder. Uh, cyclothymic disorder is like bipolar, but fast. Uh, so where a bipolar episode can last weeks or months, mine lasts days, sometimes hours. Um, uh, the, the following 30 seconds will contain descriptions of suicidal thoughts as a trigger warning. Um, so should have probably muted by now if you're good. So 30 seconds. Um, there have been days where I've woken up being on top of the world, having all the energy ready to get into the li get into life and, and do all the stuff. Uh, and then somewhere around lunchtime, I've been sitting there plotting how to take myself out of the world. Uh, and then by dinner time, I'm fine again. It's fucked. <laughs> it's absolutely screwy. I am now medicated. So that happens a lot less frequently. It's kind of instead of having like ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs, I kind of get like it's a little more, st yeah. So it, they're less less high and less low, um, but they're still there. They still exist. 
I still have good days and I still have bad days. Um, but because I'm medicated and because I've found my balance in how to handle my stuff, I know I'm not neurotypical. I have issues with my brain and its ability to handle chemical imbalances and things like, I know that. I have medical documentation to show it for Christ's sake. But because I have such a good handle on it and because it's just become such an everyday part of my life, I don't feel like it's wrong or that it's it's broken or I, I don't feel non- I feel neurotypical. I feel like I have good days and I have bad days just like anybody else. But if I get off my meds, who oh buddy? <laughs> you know? So it's like, it's it's a really odd sort of really weird feeling. Really weird feeling. Uh, Kat, Zam, Demon, Silver, Wig, Dupe, Martin, Thurling, and Brick. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I also recognize that medication doesn't help everybody. We're not doing another battle because it's past, it's past time. Um... I understand obviously not everyone benefits from medication, not everyone has a good time finding medication that does benefit them, um, and not everyone has a you know, medical professional who advocates for them. I, I do, and I'm very thankful for that, I'm very, very grateful. Uh, I know that that's a privilege, and I appreciate that. It shouldn't be a privilege, it should be standard, but it's not, and so I appreciate that I have that. Um, so I, I was really good with managing to find a med that, that helps me and all that kind of stuff. Uh, a combination of medication, ongoing therapy, all that kind of stuff. But I, yeah, I honestly, with all the tools that I've learned over the years and my medication and all that kind of stuff all in together, I feel like what I experience in my day to day, like taking my med is no different to me than taking a vitamin. When I first started on antidepressants, because I was on antidepressants and now I'm on something different um, because my diagnosis changed, um, because new information came to light and that's good, that's fine, you know, evolution of medical care. Um, when I first started taking antidepressants, because I thought it was um, general, it was depressive episodes, not the fact that the downs, because they thought it was like just downs every so often and then they realized I had the peaks as well and I realized I had the peaks as well and it all, yeah, anyway. Um, constant communication with your medical professionals is really good. When you notice new symptoms, tell them it may not be important, but it might be. Um, what's going to say? Uh, I've lost it. Right. When I first started on antidepressants, um, one of the things my psych said was, are you okay with that? I'm like, yes. Why wouldn't I be? And we had a big discussion about how some people had, the, the, there's this big stigma. I didn't know, honestly, back when I started, I did not know that there was a stigma around uh, mental health medication um, because people feel like I should just be able to get on with it and, and why. But I'm like, like some diabetics take insulin because their body can't work out how to do that properly. If you have an iron deficiency, sometimes you're, you know, advised to take an iron tablet to help your body, you know, because your body can only absorb so much of it, so you flood it with it so it can absorb an appropriate amount to do what it has to do, right? Um, if, if your body can't do something properly, you know, if, if it doesn't function as it is supposed to to maintain the health of, its, of itself, then you help it. You, you, you know, you put in uh, heart valves if they fail, you can put in a, a, a joint replacement. You can put in uh, fillings and implants and stuff like that. Um, you can take insulin. You can take iron tablets. You can take serotonin. You can take lithium carbonate. You can take medication that helps another part of your body chemically. It's, to me, that's all the same. All of it is, it's all exactly the same. If your body can't do something properly, you take you you can sometimes have the option to take something or whatever to to fix it from there, or to help it function better, to help you get through your day to day better. Um, mental fortitude only takes you so damn far. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, so anyway. That whole rant to say like I know I'm not neurotypical, but day to day I feel like it. I really do, uh, and I'm I'm really thankful for that. So it's kind of a weird sort of label. Like, <laughs> I don't know, like, 
is it still a label that applies to me if I'm now functioning well because of the stuff that I do? Like the meds and the support and the, the therapy and stuff. Like, it, yeah, it's super odd. Like, I know I'm not, but I feel, anyway. Uh, so you stream my favorite list, which is Australia. Ah, I learned from the first one six, two weeks ago. Seems in Australia opposite as in Europe, Asia. So weird, you'll have winter soon. Yes. Yep. Um, so, uh, December, January, February, March, April, May, June is when winter starts. Um, yeah, which is why I'm kind of cold because it's starting to get chilly. I have to start battle early. I know. I know. Look, I, yep. I forgot it's Monday. Jas is raiding. He'll raid until like 11 PM. So, and when he's got his headphones on, he yells. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to do anything anyway. <laughs> it's all right. Go a little bit over time. Uh, I mean, it gives you extra time to ch chip your embers into the Shah farm stream, if that's what you desire. Um, we're only at 23%. 25 was the goal today, so, ooh. Um, winter is coming, indeed. You never heard that expression before. I am, I am the normal. I did it on my chamois. Hey, fantastic, 140. Oh, you're so close, Purse. Amazing, amazing. Truly great place on the internet. Is Zam normal? No. Congrats, I have one coin. <laughs> I feel like a regular, but sadly miss a lot of streams. The sleep schedule is fucked, and when you start is when I'm usually asleep. Excuse me. Is it because your sleep schedule is fucked? Like, I don't know. I can't remember where you're from, Zelk. Um, so my apologies, but that's okay. Look, hey, maybe if, if, your, if your sleep schedule isn't screwed because of something, like if you do night shifts or if you have, like, night classes for, for like, a college or something like that, like... If your sleep schedule is screwed just because it's screwed and there's not a good reason for it to be, maybe stream is a good reason for you to fix it. Maybe I can encourage you in that way. You fix your sleep schedule so you get to see more fear stream. I mean, we do finish at 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which will usually, <laughs> she says at 10.24, still live. Um, so, I mean, that's a pretty good time to like start wrapping up your evening if you're a night owl. So, I mean, like... Maybe I'm encouraging healthy habits for those in Australia. If you're in Europe, sorry, you're screwed. Um, one quest away from all the quests. Oh, no, Purse. Oh, no, hopefully it's not one of the ones that isn't there. Yeah, so stuff is so hard. Yep, absolutely. Same, I don't want normal. I just want to be myself. For sure. For sure. Um, oh, the Vibe Attraction Tribe. That's what you were talking about. Brilliant. Okay, I'm actually quite far behind. Uh, two to three hours. I haven't slept in 30 hours. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I would absolutely um, recommend like talking to somebody about that. There are look, there are there are definitely things out there that can help. Some or all of them may not help for you, but I mean it's worth giving it a try, right? And some of those things are locked behind like prescription stuff and whatnot. Um, brains are wonderful, but also WTF though brains. I know, I know, right? Here on Menzo, getting through better. Oh, absolutely. I um like. I've had this diagnosis for a while now. It's been a few years uh, since I got the cyclothymic disorder diagnosis. Before that, it was uh, depressive episodes and generalized anxiety disorder. Uh, and then when I kind of started diving more into my behavior and my like thought patterns and stuff like that, that was when we're like, hum. So I did a screening test. You know, you answer the questions like one to five and they give you points. And the threshold for being referred to a specialist was 29 points and I scored 29 and a half. So I was like a borderline. So they sent me for that and they did a full hour of just questions. Uh, and by the end of it, they're like, yeah, yeah, this is this is probably exactly what you've got. And then they said, you know, the, 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 the antidepressants you were on for your particular diagnosis, that's a 50-50 chance that they actually work. 50% of the time they make that they help. And the other 50% of the time it makes it like hella worse. And I'm like, oh, that explains literally everything. So they changed my meds and hey presto. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Uh, what do you do when you don't stream? I am an assistant accountant. I sleep, I do housework and I do backend stuff. So social media, scheduling, creating other content, uh, all that kind of fun stuff. Sometimes I watch Netflix. <sighs> Sometimes. I also cross stitch, knit, crochet, but I haven't done many of that, uh, much of that in a very long time because I've been bzzay. Yeah. Uh, I also like food, like a lot of food, like lots. Of, I like li I like food, like lots. Who's experienced that? It's such a strange place to be when you pass twenty four hours. Keep seeing things that aren't actually there. Yeah, you need to you need to see somebody like for realsies. Hey, 
Um, I'm just going to try to put my cat who's next to me because everybody wasn't there. Yeah, hallucinations are very, very bad. It is your brain literally screaming for help. Um, please do get some help. Like, honestly, that's that's not okay. It can it can get really bad from there. Um, I'm zero coins. Can't function without any person saying psychotics at all. Can't sleep because of constant panic attacks. I'm so glad that you found stuff that's helped, Lawrence. That's amazing. Yay. That's so good that you found stuff that works for you. Uh, what is the gimme that scroll? Link to stream readers. Yes. You should scroll when it's active. Want to be a wizard? Is there medication for it? Unsure. Talk to your medical professional. Possibly. Uh, every time I click on it, it's not redeemable. Yes, um, because I've had it turned off for a bit. Um, <laughs> go seek a plugin for the for the Shah stream. Start streaming at seven in the morning for me. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, that's um, that's fine. Then not getting up at seven is totally okay. Noted. I'm screwed. <laughs> hey, Jay. Hello. Any advice on how I can make similar lighting in my room? God, it looks amazing. Um, those are nano leaf panels. They were amazingly generously gifted to me. They were sent to my uh, PO box anonymously and I am endlessly grateful and they're gorgeous. Um, so that's what I've got there. My ceiling light is off and I have two uh, Elgato key lights, not key light air, key lights. Um, there's it's two different products, but I've got one and two and they are thanks to Zeren. Um, who is an incredibly generous person who swings by occasionally. Um, and yes, very, very thankful. But yeah, that's that's all the lighting I use. Uh, and I also have a Logitech stream cam is the one that I use there. Um, uh, I was going to catch the stream. I'm going to catch a few more. We're going to America soon. Yes, absolutely. See you again soon. That's going to take a few days. Server horde never owns DB. Fair, fair. Um, maybe you'll have to maybe I'll have to invite you to a group person like Yoink you over to my shard. Oh, glad to hear that was mostly good now. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Wait, you sleep? Occasionally. I attempt, okay, maybe, let me rephrase. I attempt to sleep. That's my go to bed alarm. Oh my God. So I get caught up in what I'm doing really badly. Um, so what happens is I get, I, I like, I'm doing something and I get so absorbed and I go, oh crap, it's, it's three in the morning. Um, so I have an alarm that tells me you need to start wrapping up what you're doing and start making preparations for bedtime. So that was what that alarm was. I need to wrap up what I'm doing and make preparations for bedtime. Uh, <laughs> probably lies there, I don't believe either. Food, I'm gonna IRL for Mandarin for sure. We only need 740 more free embers to hit today's goal. I wrote that down, thank you, you're very welcome. Not a worry. I'm able to dip over the lines. Super comfy. Love purple. It is. It, it's a ta-da. Yeah. It was. It's. It's pretty awesome. Love this. Uh, very snuggly. But yeah, no. The um, lights are freaking beautiful. Uh, there's a an extension if you hover over the if you're on PC and you hover over the stream. There's an extension that you can use bits to make change the lights. They respond when there's follows, raids, um, hosts which are broken on Twitch, but the lights still pick them up. Uh, and then uh, like subs and resubs and cheers. Um, so if it's like, you know, it goes through like gray and purple and teal and blue and da da, like through the different tiers of how much you're cheering, um, lights up according to the color. It's very, they're very cool. Very cool. Um, how do I do embers? Campfire under chat. Click that, then click the banner. Legit supposed to have an appointment sleep clinic today. I need to reschedule, it's not 7.30. I can't go to bed till 8 a.m. Oof, gross. Rose chat box, click the banner. Da, da. Please go now for some viewers. Getting tired. I know. I'm sorry. I caught up now. Look, there we go, my guys. Fantastic. All right, let's do a raid. Soz, I'm so sorry. Look, you don't have to be here, but I very much appreciate that you are. We have an ad in progress, but I'm gonna just kind of ignore that. Um. All right, let's do a thing. I'm so I'm sorry. You know what I'm like. Okay, I'm having a good time. Um, okay. Yeah, right, let's do this. Go spy on Jazz. 
Don't stop me now. Yeah. It's great. Oh, okay. Awesome. It's looking so much better. I'm so pleased. Um, right, we're gonna raid Kraz. Um, he asked me for some help because his stream was kafucked. Um, and it look it looks a whole lot better now, so I think maybe he's fixed a few things. Extended stream woo. I'm so sorry. Um, it may end up going till 11 on Wednesday because I'm doing raid with Carpe Diem and they raid till 11. You now, you have notice, have a sleep in on Wednesday if you can, or get yourself a coffee around midday. Um, all right, grab your copy paste. Let's do it again. Let's pop another one in for people who missed it. Grab your copy paste. Both messages. Ah, oh, there you go, Purse. Uh, if you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you don't, ha you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, both of which are totally okay, you can still copy paste the entire message, stick it in the chat box, delete Fiamma Hype, replace it with your favorite ha happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and then drop it in Krazy's chat for uh, all the love and celebration and happiness of Raid. Show him some love. He's a great guy, like legit, a super awesome dude. Um, and they're raiding. Uh, I'm. Ooh. Button. I'm gonna see you on Wednesday for Zerath Mortis completion crap and raid. We're gonna do a pet stream on Friday the 13th. We are not doing transmog hunting on Sunday. Stay tuned. Back to Mount Farm Monday next Monday. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other, and I will see you on Wednesday. All the love. Mwah. Bye guys. <laughs>